Like what y'all been listening to? Which female Lakia? rappers y'all been listening to? I like Lakia. Lakia, she go hard. Lakia? Mm-hmm. Oh, you been listening to What's the girl? Kendaman. Fuck nigga free. I'm L-R-E-E, fuck nigga free. Oh my God. That shit, I ain't got a word about a fuck nigga free. And I hit up. She lying though. So is, we all be lying. She lying. Why you say she lying? I got my reasons for believing the same thing. Cause she got a nigga. Oh, she got Ooh. a nigga. That's your reason. You got now look, nigga, she got a nigga. nigga what if she blow up and she get busy, right? And then the nigga just be like, you ain't have no time for me. You was on the road. You was doing your show. You done just, I knew you was finna leave me for another rapping ad, nigga. <laughs> he cheating because he insecure. She about to leave. She might have been about to stay. No. No, that nigga felt like that song was about him. Let's go. <laughs> what if he been out there cheating and doing his thing? Now his girl famous, he got to kill everything. He got to shut all his operations down. Let's you think he would? I don't think he would. Send body. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck Candy was on. <laughs> Candy is a wild girl. Candy man is still your drunk. <laughs> They're recording any goddamn thing. <laughs> is it any more words in the song? <laughs> That's all I done heard. <laughs> That's enough. She can just loop that. That's it. That's all you need. But that song was all. But she got to say it more intense as she keeps going (laughs) on. Legs and hips. That shit turns to an opera at the end, nigga. That's a bob. That's what we need to get on this goddamn show. We can make some bob hold on to these. Yeah, yeah. We need to goddamn get candy on this we show. We did candy show. Candy is so. Did like, you do it back in the day? Yeah, I used to go to candy coat at night. Nice. Used to come on through here. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. What that mean? Why y'all? Why y'all ooh and ah? Candy might. I don't know if she'll do this show. Cause oh, the last say, time. Maybe she got another candy coat at night. <laughs> no, we went there in the daytime. Well, I, I, no, I, I, it wasn't night. Well, did she have like a play that was like a sex dungeon play? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, check she this did. out. So one time I did candy coated nights, right? This is before she got married, but she was uh, in a relationship with dude, with Todd, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But she had just went on some show and said she wanted somebody to eat some sugar out of her pussy. Move and I told sugar. her I'd do it. <gasps> and he was in there. Get out. <laughs> I would. Get out. If she, she said she needed something, I would have did it. He didn't say shit. Sugar? She said she wanted, she liked to get sugar ate out of her pussy. She that don't sound right. But that's what she was talking about. I didn't. Pick Sugar the in your badge right. doesn't sound too good. I know, she gonna have ants. <laughs> <laughs> a little trail to the bed. That'd be the worst. When it's a line of them, oh the man. The ant, the ant that come back to the rest of the ants and tell them, hey, hey, I know some pussy, it was some sugar in it. You ain't gonna believe me, but I no, promise I you this one. That's more than one weed. That is. That's like six. Six weeds. Yes. That's like 16. <laughs> six weeds. Because when you say one weed, I think it is. That's not that's a weed. That is a weed. That's what, not a one, weed. One little this piece? Is a weed. And what you gonna do with that? What you gonna do with that? I don't know. You can't do that with that. That's not that's a weed. One weed. That's one weed. That is that, one that's, weed. That's, that's residue, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's residue. That's all I can That's what Cobb County would pull you over for back in the day, nigga. <laughs> if it motherfucker. What is this? I blow that shit <laughs> out of You fucking lied to me, pal. I asked you if you had anything. They hate when you, nigga. I blow that shit out of his hand. What I got? Find it. My homeboy tried to do that one time. He tried to slap it out the cops. He found a seed. He was like, oh, man, that ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get slick, man. <laughs> nigga, I done blew some old shit off. I done wiped my whole dashboard with a T-shirt, nigga. With a T-shirt? I had a T-shirt that was off. It was weed crumbs on the dashboard because they had rolled up on the dash. I said, yeet. I am dead. That shit was... That's yeah, damn clear. Now they pulling y'all over for one week. They'll pull you over for one week. For one week. But then, can they do anything about that? Like, yes, they little. can do whatever the yeah. fuck they want to do, however they feel. That's crazy. Not no more. They don't think they're tripping they like that no more. They can take you to jail for no goddamn reason, and they do it every day. They do I it mean, every day. We weird. black men. We didn't seen them do some outlandish oh, shit. Wouldn't nobody believe these stories if we told them. I smoked one weed of Carlos when I was in LA, and I didn't wake up for three days. Stop saying that, cause you're gonna make. I'm a comedian. They gonna think I'm Bill Cosby. Right. <laughs> right. Yes, the fuck you did. You woke up. I didn't wake you up woke for up. Three days. Now we finished it. Tell him you woke up. Everything got there in line. Nah, that weed. I don't know how I got back to the room and my shoe was off. Uh-uh. Yeah. That weed was wild. Tell him you lying. Tell him you lying, Lex. 
<laughs> Fuck you. You're trying to ruin my good name out here in these No, streets. no. She said they'll take it out of context, but we heard what you said. You said I mean, you hit it I hit and it. you fell asleep. And I fell asleep. For three days. By myself in my hotel room. They had, I ain't got shit to do with that. <laughs> Different. You also drank some codeine white. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> they often, you know they are. Don't worry about what's in my cup. You know they are from down that way. I know. She has I a mood. I can't fuck. I cannot fuck. You can't fuck on what? No, this is the end. Can I see? She I did say that. I can't fuck with codeine. I can't fuck with drink. I tried it one time, and it was just like, People be in the club sleep. I, I, I got a question. Darnell, I don't want nothing that's making me fall asleep in the club. Do women fuck with it like that? Not really. I don't really, really see. I don't really like see. you. If you like, I don't mean to offend nobody, but like if you a woman that sip drink, like you a hood, like you a gutter bitch. And your pussy tastes like the top of a battery post. <laughs> it don't taste like Jolly Ranch. Mm. <laughs> well, codeine don't taste like Jolly Ranch. It put enough of them in there, it will. Mm-hmm. You don't think so? trying to drink nothing thick. That blunt thicker than me. This gonna be a thick girl. <laughs> I'ma call her Lex B. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was, oh, that was you the other week. That was you last week drinking that thick ass liquor. And Switch the music. Give me another one. What thick ass liquor? It's time yeah, for part two. We 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 are, we are, we're about to start recording here in a minute. So we're gonna start the show in just a second. It was thick as fuck when she was pouring it out. That shit looked like molasses, I said. Uh, I didn't even finish it. Nav took it out my head and finished it. He said, you ain't gonna drink this? Well, I drink it. <laughs> Nav been what celebrating. Was it? it was uh, corn troll or something. Oh, that ain't special. It's a little corn. It's like, it's supposed to be like Grand Marier, but the knockoff version. That oh. shit was thick. That shit ain't even liquid. That's some shit to go with some liquid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you was. But you who and Nav was just... Y'all was getting fucked up? I didn't finish it. Like real friends? Yes. Like Get business. fucked up it's with like your best face. friend. Get fucked up with your best day. What y'all been doing over there on Poor Minds? Getting drunk. The usual. Just like we about to do right now. Oh. The usual. What kind of topics y'all been discussing? Fuck niggas. That's it? F-N-L. F-N-L. Fuck nigga free. What about fuck bitches? Y'all ever touch on that? We already no. fuck bitch free. Oh, yeah, no, what you think about people saying that uh, women are new fuck niggas? People been uh, saying that? I think that women been fuck niggas. I think. <laughs> what? Wow. I'm weak. What? We supposed to be one band, one sound over there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are, but I mean, <laughs> fuck niggas come in all shapes and forms. <laughs> they got right. sisters, too. Yeah. There's like a lot of fuck ass hoes out here. They can be. They can be. They fuck ass hoes. But I don't think they're the new fuck niggas, though. I feel like, you know, we been fuck bitches and fuck niggas. I feel like y'all fuck shit has increased exponentially. How? We just trying to match the energy. Ever the, since that Amber Heard shit. That's see, all. Now, now, I, I, now y'all I ain't thought one man one sound. Yeah, I'm see, saying, see, well, not we. She tried to play dumb, and you gonna sit there and say, we just trying to match the energy. I'm gonna tell you what we really doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they matching energy. You see what they doing? They ain't, y'all don't even want to be acting like, like that. Mm-mm. That's crazy. They just ever since that Amber Heard shit came out. Oh Lord, that was oh, you heard? I heard. You heard Amber? Amber. Amber, Amber came back and said, I knew it. Yeah, make it seem like I be making up shit. How mad you got to be the shit in the bed? How mad you got to be the shit in the bed? Oh my God, she did. She tried. Me. She tried to flip it too. Like who would do that? <laughs> Amber, you did. <laughs> That's what all the evidence is saying. Oh she was on the stand looking like Rick James. Wow. I didn't shit in the bed. Yeah, I remember shitting in the bed. I'm not like, she a wild woman. That's disgusting. Why would anybody shit in the bed? Who would do such a thing? So when I did So after I shit in the bed. <laughs> then what happened was... Let me finish building this thing. Any, anytime that happened in your court case, Shit ain't gonna go good for you. Like, that's gonna be the biggest thing coming out. You just don't want the lawyers to keep bringing that up. Oh, that's the word. Shit in the bed. You on day 21 of the trial. So the time you (laughs) shit in the bed. Come on, bro. We ain't gonna get to know. You ain't got nothing else to cross-examine. I mean, that's wild to me, though. Like, how you shit in the bed? That that whole case just showed me how weird white people are. But wait a minute. So she got 14 mil. What's the muscles for? Uh -uh. Uh-uh. She originally. shit in the bed? I and thought now she got she gotta seven. pay back 10. I thought she had got seven oh, for a okay. divorce. But she owed him 15 or some shit. I thought it was 16. But he owed her two, don't he? 
So she just got to take her two out. No, he was paying before. He had paid some crazy amounts. Hell no. You don't? No. I don't think he want the money. I don't think she got it. But don't you go to jail if you don't pay? I don't think he want the money. It depends on who the judge is. Not if it's Judge Judy, but... <laughs> well, first of all... <laughs> bitch, I run off on Judge Judy. Fuck that. I tell you that right now. Any of them the, TV judges. What's the judge I used name? to be scared of her when I was a kid. She was me. What's the judge name that always be talking about crack? You think you gonna judge, run off uh, on Judge Judy? Judge, judge Matthews, Matthews yeah. yeah. You used to talk about it. And you're like, I know a crackhead when I see one. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it when I see it. He think everybody You a crackhead. <laughs> He you smoke a little crack in your day? Out this time of night? Yeah, yeah, I know. But when he get to the end and sum it all up, he make him sound like real craggy. So you outside the dollar store with a two-year-old baby, <laughs> no coat on, at 9 o'clock in the morning, buying some pine saw? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Judge me for the planet. <laughs> It's giving me real crackhead energy. Joe Brown? Y'all remember him? Yeah, yeah. He gone, right? I love I'm Judge Joe Brown. No, I mean on TV. You know? I brought him into the other room. Oh. No, I love <laughs> Judge Joe Brown because he'll no, make it. Judge Joe Brown will say anything, boy. He wild. Nah, he do. Especially when he go off. So you mean to tell me you posted up at the Motel 6 putting ads on Craigslist <laughs> selling blowjobs for $35 <laughs> while your children are at school acting an ass. I'm going to say ass. I'll be like, Judge Joe Brown? I'm going to say ass because, because somebody exactly needs to it, tell you. He used to be going in and he sounds just like he do. That shit hilarious, boy. I'm telling you, man. That shit funny as fuck. <sighs> they saw little TV shows, just ain't the same. They don't have a grandma. Jerry Springer is a judge now. He is? Yeah. I wouldn't Jerry fuck Jerry. Jerry Springer, man. His opinion don't mean shit. <laughs> he made good television. No, he didn't. Jerry Springer was ruining people's lives, man. I thought that Left shit was right. funny. It was funny to me. It was funny, but it was fucked up Even at the Maury, same time. Maury was the messiest nigga I've ever seen on TV. Because <laughs> Maury set your ass up. He do, every time. What would you do if your wife was sleeping <laughs> with a clown? That's a midget. That's a bisexual. Let's bring him out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, that nigga was never Maury asking was a, a hypothetical question. More had them people scared of shit. She scared of pickles. This <laughs> nigga bring out the biggest guy <laughs> the pickle in existence, hey, nigga. Maury was a cold Maury motherfucker. Like One thing good you can't say about Maury is if you ain't know who that fucking baby daddy was, you come until you, you come find out. I mean, and you can keep coming. What? My cousin went on Maury. Ain't no limit. For what? To see if the baby was in. Was he? No. <laughs> That nigga just Did wanted to go to Chicago. Right. No, it was no. He was like the girl was saying it was his. Like no, I know what he said, and he like no, he was happy. Uh, he was like, I told you that with my baby. I was like, that's my cousin. I never understood how them <laughs> niggas go on there and be like, Maury, that bitch a hoe. She fucked everybody, and I'm like, you wrong. <laughs> right, right. You knew this before. Maury never asked real nigga follow up questions. That would be the problem, bro. <laughs> that is true. That would have been a real nigga follow up. Perhaps so he was not real. You nigga. decided to go wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a good question, actually. Nah, Meg. So how you gonna say she a hoe? She puts the hoe hood in, but you ain't strap hood. Right. Why you wait so late? <laughs> You gotta catch wild when time? when they getting like that. You gotta catch them early. Now the wild is like if you ain't in like the first like, four niggas. My mama fucked my man. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> I like the mamas that come out and don't deny it. And I don't. And I did. <laughs> and I do it again. And I do that shit again. <laughs> Tell us how it happened. Be in love with me. More. Girl went to work one day. And hell, I was watching your show. <laughs> <laughs> Her mama set that big old country ass down on the couch. She got to cooking bacon and eggs and shit. Next thing I know, she, I'm in there, Maury. It's, and, and it's hidden, too. It's hidden. <laughs> so you have a baby on the way? Yeah, uh, actually, two babies, Maury. Uh, I got a son and, and a, her mama. I got a son and a grandson on the way. <laughs> I'm weak. Yeah, you get them both pregnant. And I'm 35. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Hey. hey. Yo. Yeah. This show. It's blacker than that gel that they be using to hold the edges down. Mm. This is how black this show mm. is. Black? This show was voted most likely to get pulled over in a traffic stop. 
That's how black this show is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This show is so black, so black. Popeyes and churches is in a bidding war right now for advertising. We don't know how ghetto we want to get. We're going to make them fight. We're going to make them fight to the death of it. I like that. This is a black ass show. My favorite. I'm telling you, I'm, this show's so black, sometimes if you just be real quiet in this studio, you can hear somebody's grandma say, stop running in that kitchen for my cake fall. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And, um, <laughs> it's me too? Hey, it's yeah. me, it's Carlos, what's up? Yes, and we gonna be in Atlanta on June 25th. It's going down, we got a live show, and y'all never know who gonna pop up. Next, we outside. I'm popping up. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, cause you said y'all audience real thick. Oh, it's fine. the baddies gonna be in the building. Yeah, I don't know the baddies gonna be there. I wanna see. Oh, I just be over there in my like little. Carlos choosing enough, so y'all better come and put that on. So we'll see y'all Atlanta, June 25th. We outside. Rent money. <laughs> y'all know the vibe. We doing the contest. Hey, what's up? It's man Carlos Miller, and I'm here to tell you that the 85 South Show is coming in Savannah, Georgia, July the 3rd. That's right, Ghetto Legends Unfinished Business Tour. Auntie ready. She keeps look. smiling at me, showing me them uh, gums, and licking her she, tongue out. <laughs> oh, Auntie. Hell no, nah, Auntie. Me, Chico, DC, the whole game. Get tickets at 85southshow.com. That's right, 85southshow.com. That's where the tickets are, so that's where you need to be. Let me say it again. The 85 South Show is coming to Savannah, Georgia, July the 3rd. You know I'm doing loose, man. Take it. Get the website. 85southshow.com Really? Oh, wait. I ain't You ain't country enough. <laughs> if you, if you run running through the house and make your grandma a cake fall, that's an automatic ass whooping because that's going to embarrass her at the church. What kind of grandma you had? in the club. Thanks. For real? Yeah. Young grandma. She still in there? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. You, you had a young mom. <laughs> young mom. Grandma had a young mom. She ain't let y'all call her she grandma. Oh, no. <laughs> it was Yammy. Not Yammy Dumplings. No. Oh, oh, my God. God. What you call her? Yammy Dumplings. That's my hey, man. Yeah. She was not baking. I, oh, God. My granny never baked no Yeah, mom. She was baking the cake all right. Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> she had Mr. Charles going crazy down there. Ooh. Mr. Charles almost got in the shootout with them young boys. Oh, my, my great aunt had Mr. Charles. <laughs> oh, you told me about Mr. Charles. I remember. What you told you about Mr. Charles? <laughs> He didn't have a car, but he used to walk everywhere. Mr. Charlie was just a man. He used to walk. That's crazy. That's the best shit you can say about I had an uncle named Uncle Dick. God damn, he didn't have a car, but he used to walk everywhere. <laughs> that reminds me of my auntie boyfriend, Uncle Dick. He wasn't a victim of circumstances. That was his name. <laughs> what is this, going that on? was a nice compliment. <laughs> that is. Niggas don't walk no more. Mm-mm. Niggas be like, you ain't, I can't get an Uber. <laughs> that nigga used to Niggas walk do everywhere. Niggas not be walking. Exactly. Niggas like, I'm on the way. <laughs> Niggas nigga don't even want to ride bikes no more. Nope. Nothing. It's too dangerous. Niggas can't be outside Probably for extended amounts of time like that. Oh. I don't know It's not dangerous. Being a nigga is real dangerous. Because a nigga run up on you because you look like a nigga that he think you is. Ain't that that? No. I thought it was somebody else, bro. You don't know what was coming after that. Mm -hmm. Worthy yeah, be what having you, a convincing motherfucker. You lying. <clears throat> yeah. Really yeah. I lie about who I am all the time. Who can you, you know say lying you at this point, my nigga. Ain't like, you that dude from Wild Now? I'm like, yeah, nah. You done heard that before? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that to people, too. Stop doing that. Don't like, hey, do that. Dre and the from Port Myers. No. I can't believe that shit worked. The trick is you just gotta have your fake name ready. Oh. What's your name? 
you see, you gotta have your fake name. I'm talking about right now. I see, you see, I wasn't that quick. They they always ask people that. They never ask me that. They be always like, You can't deny me. Are you Esther Mm mm. Shut up. They ask you, bro, what? Shut your dumb ass up. Ain't nobody ever said that to you. Oh, I didn't introduce the guests. We got the lovely ladies from Poor Minds over here. Dre and Lex P, or Lex P and Dre. Excuse me? I'm sorry, Carlos. We just caught them coming out the studio and told them to sit down. This thing, it's getting too loud. It's getting too loud. Hey. This is sticky. Hey. You must have smoked one hey. weed. Y'all stupid. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever said that to you. Yes, they do. What they say? They asked me if I was asked to roll in the airport one time. Cool. I didn't have my hair done. Shut up. It's strict in this bitch. Just shut up. I can't live in my truth. You are wild. You already man. came on here lying on me talking about you done went to sleep for three days. I did. I was like this. Shut the fuck up. What they was been, that? They done came back capping. Big capping. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody since LA that came back capping. <laughs> LA was a grand time. We had fun. I don't care what y'all say. It was a good family trip. It was. <laughs> nah, it was dope. We had fun. fun. Goddamn Joe, don't edit shit. <laughs> Joe done put the footage out of my partner bombing on the motherfucker. Oh. Straining friendships, man. I was looking man. for Joe, too. There he go. Joe's straining friendships, man. Why? I've never seen no shit like that in my life. Because Joe hates we everybody. He I thrives it out. off of negativity. Bruh, he, dr he thrives off negativity. We went what? to Miami. I didn't see Joe but once. <laughs> the nigga was on my flight. <laughs> He was on our flight. When we landed, I didn't see that nigga for a whole 24 Same. hours. Oh, my goodness. We didn't see Joe, Joe for us. a week. Joe stayed in a different hotel. He's, I don't know if he got friends. Oh, he does? Yeah. He died. I forgot. Wow. You ever notice he always stay? He like, he don't never come home when we finish some shit. He just go somewhere else. <laughs> That's how much he. That's how much he hates us. He don't even want to fly home with us. Yeah, he don't be fucking with us. He said, "You know what? What'd you say? I want to fire this nigga, but I don't know what footage he got. You know the better hotel. Why you ain't tell us? Oh, you you already went. See, man, I want to fire this nigga, but I don't know what kind of footage he got. I don't know what this nigga got me saying on this fucking mic, bro. He probably got a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, try it if you fucking want to. Remember he that night you was talking about excited. politics? He gonna see you little audio file and what? shit. Blackmail, extortion. I don't give a fuck about none of this. And he gonna be laughing I've like that while he's I've already sent this to every news it. outlet. As soon as he posted. Why are they doing this on you, bro? They started this. One day you wake up, you be successful, and then Joe done sent a cease and desist letter. I own the name Carlos Miller. <laughs> You owe me fifty million dollars. <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> you want to play hardball? I'm weak. What y'all been up to, man? <laughs> Getting ready for tour. See y'all then <laughs> acquire some matching outfits. Mm, you know the girls is outside. Oh, that's the problem. It's Get y'all ass in the house. In the, huh? Get in the house. It's no. summertime. Well, almost. Yeah, but y'all like y'all got a balance. Balance. We outside all year. All I'm about to do is balance this so, ass on the bar. Okay, well, wow. I'm talking about. So, so, so all this outside, this means all the, you all the activities is outside. Yeah. Smashing outside. Who? Huh? That's. <laughs> now, see, you're going to jail. I did that before. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You gotta go in sometime. Mm -hmm. And then we about to we about to go on tour. But I'm oh. oh. Outside? Outside. Boy, that's, that's, that's you on tour now. That's OT. Hello? Wow. That's OT. Wow, yeah. people change, bro. People change. Oh. I remember motherfuckers like, I don't want to do all that. Wow. No, wow. See, when was really my, that was between us. Change. When you going to take, when was you going to take? What did she say? You, what did she say? Just now it's not really my thing. thing. Um, we were going to do one show one night, and Carlos was like, you a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> you don't want no money. <laughs> he said, you ain't trying to get no money. No, what made it even worse was, like, Ryan and Chad told us, y'all are doing two shows. Y'all ain't fucking doing no one show. We was like, we don't want to do two shows. I made an executive decision. <laughs> OK, well, I guess we doing two shows. And when you got your two show money, you were but like, nah, oh. yeah. 
Both right. times we were very shocked with the outcome. Y'all like, don't know how much people fuck with y'all. I mean, yeah, I think we were definitely underestimating it for sure because I was not, especially in Charlotte. Yeah, we Charlotte put the really tickets surprises. on sale like a week Ooh. before the show, for the second show, and we saw like 200. Y'all should be a vibe when y'all be bringing people on stage. Y'all always find somebody thick as hell with some big old boobs or something. I just think that's our audience. Oh, I'm about to start coming to all y'all. And our shit. listeners are bad. Yeah, it's crazy. Real. Like, I think that's our audience. Yes, our audience. I was like, damn. A few, I seen a few dragons over there too now. I ain't know. It's a few dragons. You better stop. It's a few goddamn you dragons. Like a dragon. What you mean? It's a few dragons being there too. Don't forget about us. We watch it too. But you know, like, anytime I go to like the airport or like some men working around some shit like that, the niggas who be checking the bags, all them niggas watch y'all shit. Hey, Lo, come here. Hey, hey, tell Lexi, drag him. Tell us what. I won't come to the studio, man. Yeah. yeah. That's the number one shit motherfuckers tell us about. I won't come. I just won't sit on record, man. That's it. I won't be in there. I'm like, hey, bro. And I, the end they way. tell them it's a motherfucker that do anything for them. Hey, for real. They be saying that shit, dog. Really? Yeah. Like, like what? What like, they gonna do? I think niggas kill still. Niggas be having resources. Really I might need them. I know. I might need a little hit on you my team. You think number next time? No, I ain't getting nobody's number. I'm telling them to reach out to you. <laughs> Directly. Directly. Say, yeah, yo, I'm Clayton Homeboy. Yeah. Uh, I ran into uh, Clayton at uh, Hartsfield uh, uh, He said y'all was looking for some uh, soldiers in the poor man's army. <laughs> Not the poor man's army. I'm gonna be like, we are hit up Lexi. Yeah, I'm dead. She gonna interview you. I've been doing interviews and shit. This ain't no interview. We just been in the trap vibing. I listening to good, good orchestrated music provided by none other than, you know, the maestro J-O-N. Period. Period. Big J-O-N. We got Clayton English in here today with us. Also, masterminding and controlling the vibes. We got this dope ass new merch collab that we just did. <laughs> There's big business going on over here, left and right. Somebody, what is this? Somebody left. Y'all just gonna leave this hoodie up here to hold it? It's somebody's clothes. It's somebody's outfit. Y'all just fucking, y'all just chilling too hard in the trap. They just leave their clothes everywhere. Red lights working on the head. Let's go. We outside. Tell us some more about these lady rappers we might need to be aware of. Y'all should have on the show. Who? What's her name? Glow Rilla. Glow Rilla. Glow Rilla. Mm -hmm. Now we got to get Ken the man on him. Oh, you have hey. to. She was just on yeah, uh, Double XL, mm -hmm. uh, The Freshman. Shout out to Ken the man. And she, she, be she be laughing night. at them jokes. What's up, Ken Sorry. the man? Yeah, Ken is super. Like, she can I'm not really calling her that. Rap. She got to tell me her real name, though. Ken the man? That's her name? What if it's no. her real name? Oh, hell no. <laughs> her birth what if I was fucking with her, though, and then late what night she hit name? me and I had Ken the man? <laughs> Hell no. what, nobody what's her name? Kendra? Kendra. Is, is, it huh? is, is it one yeah. word? Huh? Is it one word? Yeah. Yeah, it's Kinderman. That's what I'm saying. That's not her name, it's though. Is it? it might be. How do you it know? It could be. Her name could be Kinder Money. <laughs> and she just took the eye off. It got an apostrophe in there. <laughs> and the lips. I nigga, whatever that shit is. Shut up. Not Kinder Money. That little French shit. The little, the little, what? the little thing, the little, the little <laughs> shit that go over. Not even dots. the accent, the little two, the, the um the little dot. Yeah. <laughs> Ken yeah. in the dash, yeah. Damani. Oh my gosh. We love, no, Ken, honestly, Ken is super, super nah, hard. Yeah, she really be rapping circles around people, like Hell for real. Yeah. She can really, really rap. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, she hard. I like female rappers. Mm -hmm. I like the ones that rap about pussy. Mm -hmm. They all rap about pussy. That's yeah. what I like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the ones that rap about that <laughs> shit. I want them to rap about whatever they want to rap about, you know. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Was. That's just what she rap, chose. Rap about it well. I like when they rap about other stuff, but I feel like that's rare. <laughs> My see? I listen what? to it. <laughs> Fuck it. Is it not? I mean, I think that's just what, you know, people relate to. You know? Do you have to turn I mean, up I, to it different? I'm all about rapping. Rap about pussy. No. You sing about I relate to that. No. I, I, listen. Relate. I, I can listen. relate. I do more listening. That's what I'm saying. You turn up to it different. I don't want to get to the point where I know the words. I just listen. <laughs> You know the words That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know the part that everybody in the world what, knows. What, let's go? What? That's what we're talking about. Oh. No, just the, the what they do, I'm the spelling. Deaf, That's it. That's all you know. Okay. I don't know the rest. I don't know the verse. Snippet you heard. Okay. 
Drop it. That's it was just real catchy for the summer. Mm, that's the song of the summer. Honestly, Lakia got a joint. That's the Mind Your Business song. Lakia. That's a good uh, song for the summer. She's a, she a little kid. She's fine. She can I think too. this is perfect time for the women to take over the rap game. All the I niggas think they is in really jail. already have. Oh, Joe, put it up. Poor Minds Outside Playlist. Period. What's on it? It just gave you two, right? Yeah, we just gave, we just gave you two. What else? Um, that's out right now, or just mm -hmm. period, like an outside playlist. Outside. What do I be listening to? Why are you listening? outside this summer? What are you going to what be else listening, are we listening to? to? Let's see. Well, maybe gonna be on my outside playlist. Okay. They gotta be all women. No. Okay. Well, yeah, little baby gonna be on my outside playlist. Yeah, we just want to know. We really asking so we'll know what songs to be aware of. Like if we hear these songs. Oh, like, oh. Song Yo, you're really doing That's a service song. for the community because then dudes going to know what to play when they pull up to the pool or the park. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to have a DJ. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we ain't always got that luxury. Sometimes it's food or the DJ, so. Now, I'm not going to lie, too. Burner Boy just dropped a song called Last Last. That's what I've been listening to. I mean, the, it's the sample from Tony Brady, yes, right? And the girls go crazy when that song comes out. He on. wasn't me in the mood. You know what I've been watching? Them African people have parties. Like when they have, the, they got this live stream where they just be vibing out to these songs. They ain't even songs, they just instrumentals. Nigga, everybody in the party, literally, is dancing. I like that. Nigga, they dancing so hard, even when it ain't no music playing, niggas still be over there. Mood. I can't even stop. <laughs> Them niggas be in a trance. Is... <laughs> I've been fucking with it hard. But now that's what happened. That, that, that used to happen in Tallahassee. Wait. That family, the music cut off, these motherfuckers started singing. No music. No music. No music. <laughs> And still, I'm talking about to the point like, hey, y'all really have to leave. Like, I'm weak. <laughs> police That's are on wild. the way. Y'all niggas gotta go. I think they did that in every city. Like, that was like the era. I missed yeah. that era. I thought what it was like no music era. No, I, I missed the era when York, people, though. when motherfuckers used to get on the microphone and be like, hey, Clay Nicholas, you're right outside. <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember those days. In middle school. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like, when your mom was outside, they used to get over the mic and be like, you're right outside. Like, That's Teen there. Club. Yeah, for sure. First of all, Teen Club, Terry, we talked about this before. That was never. I used to have fun. That's when I knew I was going to be That's a That's the dumbest shit ever. That was the, the best days of my what, life. What nigga open up a Teen Club, bro? Move. I used to be at the bar making niggas buy all What nigga be like? <laughs> I used to be like, my boo I want to own a nightclub. <laughs> Like an adult nightclub? Fuck no. No, hell no. <laughs> Preteen. Lock ins, skate parties, pizza parties. Oh, I used to love me a good lock in. I, my mama would never let me we'll go. Sell to a lot of power aid. She used to be like, you not going to this shit. We'll have drinks and plastic martini glasses, but it's gonna look like liquor. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just to get them ready to go to the real right. club. You know how you used to have club. the Welchers in the um. What? The champagne bottles. See, exactly. They used to have Welch's in, like it was grape juice, but it was in a champagne bottle. The teen clubs used to be lit. Niggas used to be on the floor they were doing too the crybaby. That's too much. Used to. <laughs> Nobody is used doing to. the crybaby. Used to, you still doing it now? I was in blue last week. <laughs> Talk about watch out, y'all. I still get down. Nobody used hey, shout out everything on baby. Franklin Road. All that was <laughs> teen club, everything. In Houston, we had this teen club called the Roxy that everybody used to go to. Mm, 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 mm. It used to be ladies' fun. Well, the good thing about the teens now is they're not interested That's in going to shit. The They'd rather get online and play Fortnite with each other. Well, they're in the metaverse. And they don't give a fuck These about These on club. Roblox. Club is dying out. Nigga, kill you for some Robux. You know, technically, they're <laughs> supposed to be on TikTok. Like, they're making everybody. They don't care how old you are. Like, you supposed to be on TikTok dancing. Uh, I'm going to tell you, this is the smartest shit old niggas did. Mm. Old niggas rebranded clubbing. Mm. Once niggas got too old, to be out at 3, 4, 5 in the morning, they came back and killed their ass with brunch. <laughs> Club niggas then rebranded with brunch. I like brunch. That. Niggas the day like, party. Man, hey man. Day party? The brunch and That's the day party. Niggas is 36 and up. The brunch and the day party and, 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 and the pool no party. Young niggas yeah. ain't getting dressed yeah. at no 2 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. I don't want to date no brunch niggas. I do. I, I want to be in bed by 7. I don't like brunch niggas. Well, not the ones that wear the brunch boots. But them the niggas that be at brunch. No, I don't know. You want brunch? You, you, you don't like the... I don't like the 
the Chelsea boots with niggas. the hat and the turtleneck with the gold chain. This nigga went to eat like a pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> Where was you? Where we went to brunch, nigga? Not no. Thanksgiving. No, he pulled up in the Mayflower. <laughs> Them niggas is necessary to the economy, though. Not the Mayflower, oh, baby. Yeah, you got the that, Mayflower. Right? You, yeah, you gotta have them niggas, bro. <laughs> you gotta have them kind of niggas. Cause they gonna be the ones who divide the room. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them niggas with the boots. What you mean? That they gonna they gonna weed out all the lame ass chicks. The lame chicks gonna gravitate to them to niggas. To the brunch the, boot niggas? Yeah. yeah. The bitches who don't smoke and all that shit. That's hot. <laughs> I ain't got no seat. I'm gonna sit down. I'm ready to go, deal. Right. They gonna they, to the brunch boot Yeah. Niggas, right? You right. Yeah. And then they gonna be sitting down talking about, well, what do you bring to the table, my sister? They gonna have all them conversations. What that means, Santa? Some Jordan ones ain't never asked me what I bring to the table. We be the brunch boot niggas. Every time. A nigga, every, a nigga in the Nazi tech police ain't never asked me what you bring never. to the table. It's always the brunch boot niggas. Always. So should I pose a question? What should a woman bring to the table? Always the niggas that wear yeah, turtlenecks. <laughs> niggas be thinking I put that shit on just because they got on the turtleneck with a It's a brunch boot. They be like, oh, so I can't wait. And a little Ferragamo bill. <laughs> Fresh food niggas love a Ferragamo. What's the, what what answer are you looking for when you say that? Maybe I just I don't know. First of all, you need to look Maybe. at the table and see what's missing. Mm -hmm. Cause you ever been at somewhere and they had like you ever been out somewhere and then they had two or something and you ain't know which one to trust. <laughs> what? So you what? just went with the one everybody else was eating. Like who made that macaroni? Why ain't nobody eating? Oh yeah. It? Right. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get this one. Right. This one halfway gone. Right. Mm -hmm. You need to ask what's on them. You need to figure out what's on your fucking table. Cause you might just be missing a little something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all you need to bring to the table is pussy. Everything else is there. We just waiting now on the table. Now that's my kind of table. Sometimes you gotta clear the table. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got too much shit. You're not finna eat all this. Yeah. Not sometimes you gotta clear the table. You used to eating junk food. You might be trying to get some goddamn white goo, uh, Chilean sea bass. You know what I'm saying? Some, some of that. Upper echelon. Mm -hmm. That's that's nice. You know what I'm saying? You used to goddamn cheeseburgers and Cheetos. You gotta. I was taller, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Take a motherfucker somewhere they ain't never been. Eh? They see, they talk about the table. Tell them. Coming up with baby names and shit. I like that for a little girl. What? Calamari. Yeah. Don't name that baby. Oh, that. now see. <laughs> I feel like that really oh, happened to you. Cause why did you say that? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Do you know his kid's <laughs> name from the whole seafood section, dog? <laughs> what? You know what? somebody that's named after seafood? Pronisha. Well, first of all, what the fuck is Pronisha? I ain't never seen that at the aquarium. Oh, Pronisha. Pronisha. Get out. <laughs> I was about to say, Pronisha, that's a type of fish. I ain't never heard of that. I don't be judging nobody's name, but I feel like some me. names will just yeah, like. Big shrimp, baby. I just, you you, whatever happened, I just feel like you deserve it. What you mean? Like if you got a chick in her name, like real hood, and she do some hood shit, mm -hmm. like, bro, you knew you couldn't be out here fucking with Ladasia like that. <gasps> Ladasia. Ladasia. Why do people feel like they add, gotta add a look in front of it and it's, it's a fancy. whole new name? That's black people shit. It's we the like, same name. It's just like putting seasoning on something. We like to accent our shit. Or like if a guy like has a daughter and he so he's Ladasia with a little Tony's on it. Yeah. Most of the time it's the mamas who get the name the baby, so men don't really be having no. Well, I feel like when men want a junior, we said this before, like when a man wants a junior but he has a girl, like if his name is George, he'll name her like Georgetta. That's what I was gonna say. I hate when women do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think you that's can, so weird. Josephina. <laughs> don't fucking name. You can get some good daughter. ones. There's gotta be some good ones out there that come. Don't together. shame women who named after their fathers. It's like if his name is Darren Ladarenique, <laughs> they get real fancy with it. All right. Well, you <laughs> you gonna meet a bitch named Mike? The type. The type. The type. The type. Oh my goodness. Mike. I knew a girl named Georgetta. She could fight too. That yeah. sound like she used to be whooping everybody ass. I would not want to fight a hoe named Georgetta. I think the most hood name of a real person I ever met was like that girl named Ta Jack Walisa. Okay. You just she, she went, up. She no, went to school with you? Yeah. To Jack Walisa? To Jack Walisa. I had met at a track meet or some shit. When she I was looked like she probably used to run for That's real. Fast 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 to what? To what? To Jack Walisa. She was gone. The she had to be fast to track something. I knew, um, I knew a white girl. Her name was Lashatra. She was white, super white, and she was really athletic too. Damn. 
Yeah. Cause she, so she could run. No, well she could. She played volleyball. She could jump really high. She was real strong. <laughs> I told you about that dude I met named Cocaine. All right. That was his real name? He showed me his ID and everything. Okay. Man. You sure yeah. he didn't get it changed? No, okay. he ain't went no to high choice. school he with a white girl named LaQuisha. Okay, I was like, you're blind. <clears throat> you went to school with a white girl named LaQuisha? I damn sure did. <laughs> Why well, do I feel like you're making this up? I don't feel like he lying, though. Cause I'm not. Carlos is only one. Carlos, where you? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> he yeah. from a small town. I read yeah. it. White girl named LaQuisha. Didn't nobody know it until we did. Like, I knew it, oh. but I didn't think, like, people didn't know until we graduated. You know, when you graduate, they say your whole name. And so what does she go by? I ain't gonna say it, because everybody know it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I mean, everybody know her That's probably That's the worst part anyway. about being from a small town. Yeah, if I say yeah, anything, they're like, man, you have to say that shit. Yeah. I that lady was just living her anyway. life. She wasn't even thinking about none of this shit you, you done brought up. my name off your little show. <laughs> I'm not in the entertainment business. <laughs> <coughs> now, why am I in it? Right. Mm. I ain't Real shit. no white people we know crazy names. Like, I am. I met a white, you know, white lady name. named Lakeisha. Well, you know, but that's a white like, name. That's like a, a Russian name or some shit. It's a lot of like a lot of them. A lot of them lashes we think is our okay. shit. Okay, here they you go. Shit. I'm dead in. <laughs> I don't know if it's Trust Russian him. He or went like to college. He knows some, shit. Yeah, but it's over there somewhere. He they got in. the same type of names, dog. Yeah. Really? I need to go over there then. Might be spelled a little different than some other shit. <laughs> you got I one right there? You ain't That's one. That's the one more. Oh, that ain't one. I had another blunt in. That was supposed to be arriving soon. Where's the blunt that was arriving? Are there I any more you blunts you arriving? Yeah, I got Flying in. Lex would like some Somebody more. fly in the blunt, please. Drank? Not that thick ass liquor. Mm. They already in it. That okay. don't feel like a regular they, they pack. That don't oh, feel shit. like a regular mm. pack. Whatever you want. Huh? We got plenty of refreshments and no, snacks like, and things uh, of that nature. Adult beverages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all been dating yet? This something? Yeah. Hell no. When Which one? Hold up. That's two different answers. Oh. You said what? Hell, Hell no. Hell no. One bag. What's now? Today is not giving it. <laughs> Drea, you out here dating? I don't know what's oh, going sorry. on. You dating? I'm always dating. How's it going? You just keep dating? It's going. Ain't oh. going. Ain't oh, going. the energizer? Until it stops. Oh. The energizer, right? What's the goal? Until I find them. Oh. Until I find them. Until you the fine. energizer. After that, how many days? That you been on. I already know after how many days have I ever been on? No, I'm just saying that like in this cycle. Know. Oh. That's see, that's the problem. Cause usually after the first date, I go on another date with somebody else. Oh, so you don't know if the shit was good or bad. No, I know. That's why I'm on a date with somebody else. Oh. Mm. Mm. What if you already planned a date before mm. you knew it was gonna be good or bad? I'm do that anyway, so that's how I am. Ooh, Damn. Okay. You don't want to okay. I don't okay. even know why I'm asking you shit. Well, that's a little time. Why? Why? What happened? Because I just realized I think I'm getting too picky. You Things are? turn me off. We sit down. Niggas ordering a Cosmo. He's talking about, ooh, it's sweet. <laughs> this good. You judge niggas why off you, what they drink. Yes, and why you ordering appetizers? Why you want finger food? Nigga order his steak well done, shaking the table. You go eat, finish your food. Why you want mini crab cakes? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. So y'all be judging niggas on what oh, they eat. Oh, yeah. Y'all bougie. No, that's not bougie, but like. A little bit. But that, that's very bougie. If these niggas knew what not to do. No, I want you to be yourself. You can tell them right now. Why what's would, the perfect day? Why would you order some lamb lollipops? <laughs> Talk about. Boy, shut your Take ass. Take a picture for the gram. Get these, boo. You heard this motherfucker. <laughs> nigga posted his plate this on the channel. Nigga jumped out the chair. He said that, didn't he? <laughs> they good. Ah. <laughs> Lamb lollipops are delicious. <laughs> Don't let that's anybody how, tell you that's different. How, that's how they I They have a balsamic glaze. With the little ramen on. <laughs> then he doing a boomerang. Talking about one, two, three. That nigga man. <laughs> Boy, get the fuck out of my little ramen check, on, I'll be ready to go. No. Ryan mm -hmm. look like a robot. Damn, you don't know how to filter them type of niggas out? <laughs> I mean, uh, the, that's why I just yeah. stop. Obviously, I don't. So I'm just, I'm OK with being by myself for the summer and working. So yeah. don't order no lolly, don't. Not me. <laughs> no. Now, order nothing little. Why you okay. ordering little shit? on the shit? first time. 
All right. I think the well, most. Why are you ordering a petite fillet? Wait a minute. First of all, first of all. <laughs> Strawberry lemonade. Can I get a refill? <laughs> you thirsty? That's gonna fill you up. I ate before I can't. But y'all, but but y'all sometimes, some of y'all, <laughs> if, if okay, the dude chose the restaurant, right? Okay, yeah. Picked y'all, took y'all. See, all right. Y'all, some of y'all, not y'all, but some of y'all, they be trying to break motherfuckers and go crazy on the first day order. Yeah. Mm-mm. But you shouldn't. You should. You gotta know where you're going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you can't afford it, you, you know, then you don't need to be there. Yeah, need that's to cool till they run into a nigga, and that's that's the freakiest he get. He just wanna watch her eat all night, eat some more. <laughs> or we gonna go ahead and order dessert. I'm full. No, no. you ain't. <laughs> no, you ain't. Let's, let's see the Let dessert get part. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring us cheesecake. We just gonna uh-uh. sit here till you get hungry again. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's why I'm just gonna eat the key lime pie and the butter cake. Ooh. I don't know why niggas even set themselves up for that shit. Why would you take a motherfucker somewhere you can't afford? Not that that's is the crazy. trick to that's a dating hack. Mm-hmm. You gotta take her somewhere that you can afford everything. The rule is mm-hmm. never take her nowhere you never been. Right. Exactly. Right. Joke out there. So that, go a right. day early and scout Come on, man. Out. Hey, man, what you ain't mean you were popping? You can tell when you take a guy somewhere that they low key can't afford because like y'all order y'all drinks and like you order your food, he like, oh I'm good. And he just start eating the garnishes off his drink. Cause he hungry. Can I get some more? No, I don't know I'm where y'all finding these niggas at. What's going on? I'm just saying, you can tell. Like, why have you ate 16 Can hours? I have another line? <laughs> <laughs> niggas like, you can tell. You kind of know what's going on. Like, oh my God. <laughs> hey man, you know what's what going on. What do you do at that point? Do you just lean in and be like, you can't afford this? <laughs> What's well, always dope is I mean, you got to sneak and pay. Round. You going crazy. You got to sneak and yeah. pay and act like you're you sneaking be. out just to see if <laughs> she down. What you mean? Like if you go out to eat with Why a chick, you like you go to the bathroom and then like you pay for the food, but then you act like you just walking out. Like, fuck that, let's leave. Fuck these people, let's go. Just to, see, just to yeah, see. Just to but see. But you paid. But already you already paid. paid. Just to see yeah. how she reacts. Just to see yeah, how she's going to see do. if she down. I don't like that. Don't test me because I'm going to fail I every will. time. Don't I will. I do shit like that. I'm going to be like, like hold on, I'm about to go to the restroom and call an Uber. I ain't bet. You okay, right. so so you give her more points for, for, for getting the fuck up out of there with you? <laughs> or you give her more points for being like, no, that's a, I, I got to take care of that person. You're good dating, bro. You got to find somebody who be who can accept all your bullshit. That Off top. y'all both get her. <laughs> you want a thief? Pretty much. <laughs> you right. No, it's not about if I he want a thief, thief or not. But I'm just saying, if I was a thief, would she still fuck with me? No. But what if, it, what if it reveals, <laughs> what if it reveals that, that she is a thief? 25 questions? And now what? she like, oh, my nigga. I uh, thought you we never had. It's old. You know my uncle got all the dope in the Southeast. Uh-uh. Now you in the game. And dirty I used to be crazy because he really ain't about that life. Right, because right. you was playing. But I thought you'd be stealing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Exactly. That's no. why you don't need to play like that. No. Now you in the dope. That's a good. That's a now good. Now you in the dope game. That. We should do it. You bitch and got you in the caught up in the dope yeah. game. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> a real hood nigga. We ran off on the clan. I wonder how many parents was up late at night in the nineties. Pauline. Hi, Pauline. I think our son is caught up in the dope game. (laughs) (laughs) This bitch said not Pauline. Daughter of Paul Senior. Pauline. (laughs) (laughs) Pauline. I think our baby's caught up in the dope game. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. Shout out to everybody who didn't get on crack. If you've never tried crack cocaine ever in your life, this is your shout out. This is for you. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you grew up in the late 80s, early 90s, that was Paris' biggest fear. Yeah. They used to send programs to the school just to try to keep people off drugs, and they didn't even have good ideas mm-hmm. on how to do Are it. Are you talking about dare? Yeah. That dare. shit failed us. I remember that song too, dare. Like, <laughs> I remember that too, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I remember that shit. You was probably shaking ass in that dare. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that shit. You remember it I too, remember right? It. I remember that's that. how I knew you was not paying attention. I remember I smoked They lied. The song was weak as hell, though, but <laughs> yeah. They did a I lot of lying. I smoked crack before. That's why you beat the club. All right, girl. They lied about what? I don't smoke a little crack. <laughs> Girl, look at my face. I'm sick of you. This is why I don't nobody put up with your shit. <laughs> I don't smoke a 
Ooh, you say this on your first date, though. Stop, man. Yeah. Stop, because this show got a lot of reach. <laughs> oh, yeah. they gonna really what these people going to do to me? Yeah, Give you crap. start coming to your they show, be like, let me. <laughs> he go, and they just go put it in your head. <laughs> <laughs> they going to send you a pipe in the view. I like that. No, With stop. a rock. We do yeah. not condone the use None of that. drugs. We do not. At all. At all. Stop. Okay. You're judging people. I'm not judging nobody. And it's not your place to judge anyone because you don't have a hell or a heaven to put me in. Do you record, like, request weed on your, like, riders when you go to different? I uh, get my own weed. I know, that's right. I don't trust them people. That's how I feel because people be trying to bring, bring me beans. I don't no, bring my own beans. See you, you, see? I don't know who in your kitchen. You are digging the hole deeper. What? Because you say beans, they not thinking beans. They thinking they you rolling pills, on man. the beans. Oh, I think, I'm talking about barbecue beans. This is a oh. time but where I'm taking hey. other beans. Okay. She like beans with a bean. Make it clear. Let me get some oh, of that little, like uh, little, little, little wine okay. y'all drinking, man. Oh, yeah. Clayton always drink you know, with us. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm i just, it's, it's wine. I have to make sure it wasn't I'm not drinking Moscato. heavy. How many of you ever seen me drink Moscato? See? No, it's nothing wrong with you drinking you Moscato. You see, if it, it is, is no. wrong with him if it Moscato. is, I wouldn't even want to know. That's why I ain't ask. I just said whatever it is, oh, what is it? I got you. I got you. Oh, see? no. Don't tell me it's some other shit. It's roast beef. Don't be a nigga. Be drinking whatever the, the, the women yeah, drink. Yeah, you know, the greasy. Uh, you put it in a don't be drinking whatever like the you women drink. That's about. a lesson. I like that. Can I get the Pinot Gris? Don't drink what, what they, they drink. Say, don't just be drinking what the women <laughs> drinking, bro. I remember we went on spring break one time. My homeboy got drunk off some shit called Pink Panty Pull Down. Oh, I like yeah. that. <laughs> he was done. <laughs> What if you're on a drink with, I mean, on a Fucked date up. with somebody? Because they should be too much sugar wrong, in it anyway. You, like they pronounced it wrong. I had that happen Ooh. before. You have? Yeah. Like what? What was it that they ordered? My boy couldn't pronounce quesadilla. What they say? Quesadilla. <laughs> Some shit like. <laughs> no way they made that face. When they this was quivering. This when she had to point at it, she had to. This one right here. <laughs> yeah. I now, why did you take her? So, with where did you all go that had quesadillas on the first day? You don't know See, that you just told on yourself. Why are you taking somebody on the first day that got quesadillas? Now, everybody don't get the, the prime shit. I done been on the first day to Papa C. That was when I was younger. Right. They Especially, got quesadillas. That's okay. what I'm saying. <laughs> You know who you're no, dealing with. No, no, all right. You ain't never been on the first date to Papa Cito? Quesadilla um, still, no, that's, I that's. Really that's to be honest. You from not, Texas. No, but I'm just saying, like, during that time, no, I really wasn't, mm. like, mm-mm. I'm not saying, oh, I'm too good for it. I no, was, I, no. I just never went on a date. So what was, like, yeah. the, first, the worst place you went on the first date? Worst? Yeah. Um, like, I guess low level. I feel like we all went to like the little chilies and the Fridays, like when we were younger. They got like, like, apple, Applebee's. She, you yeah. meet the right motherfucker, we'll be yeah, in there right. this weekend. <gasps> Okay. You'd be surprised. That's the thing. Lie. Like, it don't matter where you go. You used to could just have a good time. That would be the vibe. No, I'm not going to lie. And motherfuckers don't be satisfied. This is the one Sometimes thing that I motherfuckers learned, though. You take these women to high. these expensive-ass restaurants. They are half-ass eat the food. And then you'll end up stopping by Chili's on the way home any fucking way. You could have just went to with. Chili's first. You ain't eating with Big Bumble. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my food. That's the yours. thing. See, that's what scared niggas off from fucking with you then. Because a nigga down. think he's gonna have to feed you twice the same night. He yeah, is. you can't snatch no. food out of nigga. You ain't mouth. got no money? I do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Even me, I'm not about to feed her ass three, four times a day. Fuck, I'm like, You still gotta wake up and go to brain. But uh, why not? Because I'm not doing that. You know how much it costs? To feed somebody. You know, to feed her? you know how much it costs to feed one person? <laughs> oh, no, Big ass titties. She say, wants snacks, you juice. Have to eat three meals no, no, no. Three, going out three meals? We going out for every meal. How much do I think it costs to feed somebody? If you want out to eat like three times a day. Don't talk to Drea. She's just going to make this shit way more expensive no, no, than it got to be. Just let me hear the number. Just let me hear the number. Because she got to stop by the bank to pay her car note, right. too. Let but it's the same the motherfucker. First if, of all, if I don't, don't got no car note. You know what I mean, you know, bitch? If, if nigga wasn't paying, you know what they'll really be eating? Let me get a water and a small fry. That's all these motherfuckers eat. That's the Let me go be eating shit. Right. Let somebody else buy it. That's Can I get a kid's meal? Right. One day I didn't I eat the chicken tenders. four nuggets. I'm only going to eat two. Uh, it's because we're starving out here in real life. In real life, most yeah. of these women starve. I don't give a fuck how good she look. I waited on Go my to LA. Day. Don't nobody like you until you be like, y'all want to go to get uh, Roscoe's or something? I'm vegan. Took a vegan bitch to Roscoe. Guess what she had? Wait. A big ass chicken sandwich. <laughs> Guess what she did? Ate all of it. I'm like, you ain't really vegan, bitch. You are a broke. Right, right. 
Yeah. You was vegan till I got out here this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't had chicken in so long. It's been months. Yeah, because you couldn't afford it. Now right. she only vegan because she can eat lettuce. All Man. she can afford is lettuce. Damn. They be right. freaking. <gasps> oh, now get out. They be freegans. <laughs> Whatever free? they can get for free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be freegans, what? No, I'm not gonna lie. When me and Drag go out to eat, especially when we're with Kiki, our friend Kiki too, we literally order everything. Like y'all rich? No, we're not. Don't I be out here flexing for motherfuckers. We're not talking me. about established people. No. Because yeah. I'm sure y'all be having extra champagne and shit left over. No, I'm not gonna lie. We do order everything on the menu, but I'm the friend who gonna eat like two bites of everything. I don't ever eat. A I lot always of finish my food. No, oh, hold on. Get back to it. What's the number oh, okay, for one so person to eat? <laughs> don't get off. This. No, you gotta. I feel then like you gotta at work least, in inflation at too. At least a hundred dollars a day. A hundred dollars a day. If you want out to eat, that's like. Brian. No, he agreed. <laughs> that's you that, agreeing? Okay, now fact you for two people. You gonna skip on one of them? For two people? I mean, and I'm really trying you to had a donut for, for one person to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You I had coffee and a donut for but breakfast. But that's on the low end. Like Ryan said, that's on the low end. That's, 30, that's about $30 per, per meal. meal. But see, a bitch like me, I need some snacks. $30 plus I meal. Need, I need my 150 $30 plus meal, right? I need yeah. my 150 $30, $30. $30. Maybe so an extra five. Listen to this shit, bro. No, of course, that's a five because it. how you gonna get it? If you get it delivered, that's an extra 15. I hope the niggas who watch this show get it, are listening. Gas five dollars You think being in love is free? It costs five hundred dollars. So you got you got to bump that up to four dollars. So you a think week. it's about one twenty? Seven hundred dollars a week to feed these women. <laughs> that's if you don't see her for two days. What if you eat chicken like three? You need at least watering. seven hundred dollars a week yep. to feed a black woman. It's a thousand in if you me. It's the in America. But, hey, it's 120 a day. It's at the least. Meat, it's got to be 120 wow. a day at least. At least. I'm hungry. Man. I'm hungry right now. Okay, so it costs $700 a week to feed a black woman. Right. Jesus. Why it can't just be a woman? Why it got to be a woman? Because, hell, this is a black show. And we put black women first. Hey, brother. Period, my brother. Now, we don't know what them crackers eat. <laughs> <laughs> we put black women first because most of the people in here they black women. I think. I think I everybody think. do. Not I think. Let me look around. Yeah. Which one of y'all? The niggas who slipping up. The and niggas the, who don't. They, they, they all. Which one of y'all are imposters? <laughs> no, nah, everybody in here. Even drinking the, that almond milk. There's a few black women in here that date black women. Now that I look around. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Well, fuck that. Most of our moms is black. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm like, damn, I didn't make the cut. <laughs> you dirty motherfuckers. Find another way to exclude. <laughs> you separate yourself with them lollipops, man. I'm going to tell you that. Y'all going to leave right alone. He's our statistic. He's our minority. <laughs> we minority, so we understand the plight of minority. Right. We yeah. hit it. We so do. we had to add another kind of minority. And hell, black people and Asian people been kicking together so long, it was only right. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. That's why we can say like 85 South is diverse. Right. <laughs> right. I got right. ashes all They're over like, me. is this a diverse company right yeah. here? Hell yeah. We are very diverse, period. Right. Yeah. Hey, come here and tell these people about diversity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to speak to somebody tell in the diversity tell them we good. <laughs> I don't know. They act like they don't speak, nigga. I don't know. Going on there. I, 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 I have gotten to, to the point of this blunt. Why? Well, I'm tired of lighting it. Hey, you want to speak to somebody in front of HR? HR. Put it out. Put it out. New blunt. New one. Fuck it. That's how we live. New blunt. New blunt, please. Mm -hmm. Brian is our diversity department. That's hilarious. He's the whole diversity department by himself. Oh, thank you. Fruit snacks. Yeah, bring those over here. Y'all do want some. 85 yeah, South Show. <laughs> we got some. Oh, um, y'all gonna want some once they open. We got up. some tour dates coming up too. Tell you that. Hey. Yeah. Hey. yeah. We outside. We back. Like the pockets on your jeans. Mm. Mm. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Back like a spinal column. We back like Pat. Hold on, like a what? Spinal column. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a D. Happy mm. brother. Mm. We back like Return to Cinder. I thought he was 
my phone. <laughs> Twitter said that's one of the worst songs ever recorded. They are crazy. Well, we know it ain't no A&Rs on there. Cause oh, imagine <laughs> they would have never found him. I want the, the backstory. What? That's all? I want, yeah. That was a great name, but we always ask this you question. You lied no, I want the backstory <laughs> to what led up and to the song. Right. Because he was British. I want to know. That was a triple entendre. I told y'all that. No, I want to like pre-song. I want to see this nigga when he was in his prime macking. Hmm? And then the one chick that he stopped all this macking for. And then he had, the man oh, had man. to return. Cause but them niggas was happy he was back. Yeah, he was, but he was low key hurt because you that ain't never happy when you returned to the man. No, movie. I'm saying, it, it was, it, motherfucker, he was, he was acting like people was happy he was back. <laughs> like we didn't even know hurt. he was a man. Like I had never like, heard of the nigga before. When did you leave? Right. Like, yeah, you know, I never even. Oh, you're back? When did you go? Like, who are you? But no, he was hurt though, because at the end <laughs> he, he was screaming. Because he was trying to make it okay, seem like, like, no, listen, you okay. The video? No, he was trying to make it seem like he was good, but at the end he was like, oh, little girl, what's my pearl? What's your pearl? You were hurting. Did you see he the was video? Yeah. That nigga was sitting in that chair by himself. You're with lying the black, to me. With that the nigga black, was hurt. Girl. He was hurt. It's the way he started the song. Oh. Whoa! He was crying. Come on. Y'all jamming. This nigga was in the studio crying. That's the game? Y'all yeah, really yeah. sounded like yeah. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, I think that nigga was happy to be back in the street. Now that was Casey. It didn't hit him to the end of the song, though. You don't know what. That's what he said. You don't know what that nigga what? said on, until girl, he get pearl. together. You lied to me. That's it, huh? If you Bitch, get I don't want a nigga to never call me his pearl. That's too cheap. Call me a diamond. Pearl, <laughs> my pearl. <laughs> Oh, little girl. I'm letting you know what you worth to me. <laughs> I no fucking pearl, nigga. They do be the throwing pearls up in there with diamonds say. like that shit. Pearls at the bottom of the sea for a reason. That's some old lady shit. I love a good pearl. Do you? Where, you where love your everything. Since you love it. I'll take a little pearl. pearl I, like that. I don't believe this shit that you don't like. A little crack, a little pearl. I don't want no beans. <laughs> a little beans. Oh my goodness. I just like things that are small around. Aren't pearls and oysters? These are a right? few of my favorite things. <laughs> <Okay>. You weird. <laughs> this is like, like, pearl, like beans, pearl, like. beans, and crack. That's the way to my heart. <laughs> Not pearls and <laughs> beans. These are a few of my favorite <laughs> 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 What is wrong with me? Carlos, can you buy me some pearls? No. Oh, why? Oh, Miss Lady. Why? <laughs> I don't have any money. I'm, all my money is tied up in you investments. You don't need that much money for pearls. My money is tied up in investments. <laughs> yeah, we invested. It's, it's you a, know what? Uh, like, I see some antique pearls online. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like all the girls on Instagram, all they want is these Cuban links, these Rolexes. I want some pearls. <laughs> I'm going to tell the fellas this, though. Don't be fucking with a chick. Who already got her name played on her necklace, bro? If she got her name, her nickname in the iced out diamonds, she already ahead of you. Don't even try. Don't fuck with a girl with her name on. Don't her fuck TV. with none of these girls who got rapper necklaces. Why? Yeah. Rapper necklaces. Trust me, man. That's why I'm what, if, what if it's some bullshit? It might be fake. A lot of them. They are. don't check women's jewelry. Right. Let's be real though, they right. don't. And women you know, don't check the jewelry. There's a lot of companies that actually make these necklaces that look real, but yeah. it's, it's targeted for women. Cause they know that women, Costume women can jewelry. get away with wearing fake jewelry. Men can. can't. No, you can't. I mean, but on the grand that scheme of things, they low key can. Though. I feel like everybody who about to buy some real jewelry should buy some fake jewelry first. This is so a you can, test drive. So you can practice wearing yeah, it. Yeah, see if a nigga take your shit before you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these niggas wanted it. Niggas gonna rob you and mad at you. She more than more than I did. Hey, no, yeah. what if niggas just don't want you to have it? They're yeah. just taking that shit just because. Mm -hmm. I refuse. I know one thing. I'm fighting over my pearls. No, the fuck you're not. <laughs> Step to me with my pearls if you want Somebody to. Somebody gonna walk up to you and snatch that shit. I'm gonna say, that was mine, Rashad. That means something to me. Give it back. Give it back. <laughs> you want a Picasso with your house. <laughs> Hey, what's that new hood ass show that they got on Zeus with the girl with the one tooth? She been fighting. Oh, Bad Girls of South or something. That's what it is. She got one tooth and be rocking nigga shit because she ain't got. Hold on, she ain't got one tooth. She missing one. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, she's yeah. missing a tooth. So oh. she don't care if she lose the other one. Cause I'm gonna say 
they got one tooth? No, but I'm saying, do you, if you fight a bitch with a missing tooth, you asking to die. If you only got one She ain't got shit to lose a bitch for it's the life. one in the front. She about to fight you to the death. Oh, yeah, she willing to die about it. And she been beating people up. Beating people up. Ain't that blue faced lady? Mm. Like, oh, that's her? One yes. of these ladies. Yes, yes. She fine? No, she's actually a really pretty girl. And she girl. be beating people up. And she be beating people I ain't never seen her look fine. Yeah. No, I mean, I think she's pretty. Like, she's actually really pretty. She's a cute girl. Oh. Yeah, she, she beat, beat up his mom and, and his sister. sister at the same time. He, she beat up his on mama and her no, sister? No, not on the show. Oh, that says it right there. That pussy fine. Yeah, that was taken on that the phone. That pussy is amazing. That's some good pussy. She no, she ain't made blue, it. And, and she said blue blue nigga mama recorded. and his sister. <laughs> No, nah, I don't know who recorded it. Yeah, that's I'm dead. You messed That's what they said. I ain't Blue never face. had a nigga that sprung. I'm trying to see what know. that's hitting like. <laughs> if a bitch fight your mama and your sister and you keep fucking with it, what kind of pussy is that? No, but she said that in the video, though. She was like, you can go fuck with them bitches and let them cream on you <gasps> if they even do that. I said, period. <laughs> Not you agreeing with... <laughs> if they even do that. You're going to jail. She said a word. You agreeing with the notes. I just had a flashback. I heard the just word cream. Just because white people discriminate against because she don't got a tooth. You always talk about people missing side tooth. Might be teeth. more what you saying. A side tooth, but I ain't never discriminating <laughs> nobody missing a front tooth. You should. That's why I draw the line. I thought of missing a tooth was missing a tooth. Where the fuck you missing it at? <laughs> I feel Same like it's probably thing. harder to get a front tooth than it is to get a side tooth. I think that's the easiest one to get. I think one. she already got one and she you just took it off. Her. <laughs> no, a front one is <laughs> way easier to get. No, it's not because it got a perfectly match. A side tooth is on the side. Yo, that shit will slide in so slick. They got some shit. If it's a front tooth, they got to be a perfect in. color match. That's what's crazy that the young people watching this show don't even know that their day is coming. What day? That they missing the tooth? And, and you could be the next victim. <laughs> what? Of, of side tooth missing. Oh my God. Now, missing a, missing a tooth, period, that you can see is wild. I, I like, I'm talking like, one that you can see. Like, cause you know, some people be missing one way back there. That's yeah. fine. It's back there. My cousin was crying one time, and she was like crying real hard, and I noticed her tooth was missing on the side, and I was like. I can't even take you serious. <laughs> Why did you turn your head? Because I didn't want to like. <laughs> Stop, man. It's okay, this baby. in no way reflects how I feel about people crying. who we'll have. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a stage in my life. But if how I, do you miss it? Like, if I met a bad nah. bitch who was missing the sad tooth, I would definitely buy her one. You saw? How can you say that? I'm talking about off the tooth. rip. Oh, like, like So you buy a bitch a tooth, but you can't buy me some pearls? It's mm -hmm. strict this bitch. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking long-term investments. Sorry, nah, because I'm saying like you like you you'll be fascinated with the pearls with 24 fascinated? hours. Fascinated? You think she's gonna be fascinated with pearls? I'm just saying. Look yeah, at the nigga know. they coming from. Ooh. So what I'm saying is that that may last what 24 to 48 hours. The but, if, but if I get this lady a side tooth, she's a bad bitch forever. forever. She's forever indebted to you. Right. Forever. So mean. even if it don't work out, like if she what move on to big, like find who she really loves, she gonna be like. If that nigga wouldn't have never got me that side tooth. If you lose your side tooth, are you supposed to put it under your pillow? Uh huh. Like as an adult. You, as an adult, you got to take that bitch to the dentist. Who gonna use the money for that hoe? That hoe forty years old, bitch. I don't want that old ass. <laughs> that tooth man gonna be like, oh hell. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. Yeah. Well, I mean, not two, three. It's about five years old. Yeah, yeah. Don't nobody want no 40 year old tooth. Damn. They still have the cage. It just reminded me of this video that I it's seen. It's a reason it fell out. It's a reason. I saw this video, like... man. This dude's son, two fell out, man. And he woke up all excited. He was like, Dad, two fairy gave me $100. He was like, Fuck. He got drunk and gave him $100 for it. <laughs> That's oh. crazy. Now, when it's wild when you really think about it. Did your mama ever used to like make you pull your tooth out on a dog? That's really like low key child abuse. Uh, I think so one time, but I kept chasing the door. Like, uh, uh. You didn't get. Uh -huh. You didn't. You missed the whole point. Yeah, but what was the point in doing that instead of just letting it fall out naturally? We don't know. It wasn't falling out naturally. Out one it was time. loose. Damn. But eventually, it was gonna fall out if you just wait. Not really, not unless you do something to, you know, go ahead. Are you were talking about motherfuckers them. missing teeth. There's some people oh, no, out there with some, there's some adults out here with some loose-ass teeth, too. Loose teeth? Yeah, they grew up wild. <laughs> loose teeth. Yeah, they grew up wild. Yeah, they grew up wild. Yeah, they grew up wild. Yeah, they grew up w
Yeah. 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 Do what? 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 Grown ass people don't know if they shit gonna have to come out or not. Shit just Wait. loose. Not they looking in the mirror like, man, they. Shit, wiggle. Oh, he said some grown people with loose teeth. Motherfucker got them loose ass teeth. Oh my God, I don't know what if I would do if I woke up and like one of my teeth was loose. <laughs> Can I be honest? Oh, That's a God. dream that I've had a lot of times and I always wake up like. <laughs> I be thinking it's gonna fall out or something. Or yeah, that's a, you ain't that's never a had dream. a dream about having a loose tooth? Teeth falling out. I've had a dream about my teeth mean falling out. Me too. It means you feel you ain't in control. For real? Mm -hmm. How the fuck you know that? Because uh, he's smart. Because he woke my brother. That nigga know some shit, bro. You just said Nigga went and looked it up. <laughs> After you had that shit, I said, let me either go to the dentist or. <laughs> This shit's some psychological shit, and they say that. So I be having some dumb like ass dreams, bro. One time I got mad at myself at the dream, and then I turned around and I looked at the, the dream camera, whatever the fuck it is, and I was like, nigga, you ain't gonna even remember this shit. The I was dream telling camera. You. That means you had a lucid dream. I was talking to myself. You were talking to you. From the dream. No, I didn't. Because I be having some good you ass did. dreams, but when I wake up, it's like, the bitch will be like, ah. I hate you. <laughs> When you be having dreams so good, and then you try to go back to sleep, like you wake up in the middle, and then you try to go back to sleep and finish it, and it just don't happen. You can control your stuff, like you be having lucid dreams. You can do what you want in your dream. Oh, you know what's crazy about yeah. my dreams? Is like there's all like you ever walk, like you ever use like those fucking weak ass doors that you just push like to the kitchen or some shit. Mm -hmm. Those are everywhere in my dream. They just so like the swinging doors. Yeah, you can just everywhere we go, we just bust through some doors. Clayton, what that mean? I don't know. This nigga think he a cowboy or some shit. I don't know. That's <laughs> not, not, not the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the fuck who stole my horse? <laughs> No, you but you mean them kitchen doors that go in? Yeah, ahead. like oh, that's like the sitcom doors. Yeah, yeah. Them they walk in, you, you woo! just. Now let's do that in a wild ass dream the other week. I can't even remember what it was about, and I probably wouldn't say it because it was too wild. It was, it, was, it was something you told me, and I was just like, well, in the dream? Why is that your dream? I don't know. I be having a lot of crazy dreams. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy DC on Fly. In case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we are currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85 per center. Right, spread it out. Code 85 P E R C E N T E R. Once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like Five on the 85, and even get your special offers and discounts for 85 South merchandise. And the shows, it's only $8.50 a month or $85 for the whole year. And you can find us online at china85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, Roku, and even on Android. And remember, use code 85 per center for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel 85, subscribe. Martin The Reunion, action. BET Martin Reunion, streaming June 16th exclusively on BET Plus. Martin The Reunion, a BET original, special for the first time in 30 years. One of TV's most iconic cast is back together for an event to celebrate, a legacy to cherish, a reunion to remember. Get ready for Martin, Gina, Pam, and Cole with a special tribute to the beloved Tommy Ford. A reunion unlike any other where they relive all their favorite moments, share stories, and reveal secrets and they celebrate with big laughs. Reminisce with all your favorite characters, all your favorite catchphrases, all your favorite disses and kisses, featuring special guests, musical performances, and captivating behind the scenes moments. Martin, The Reunion, a BET Plus original, special streaming, June 16th, exclusively on BET Plus. Want to stream black culture? Visit BET.plus to learn more. As a comedian, I've okay. had them what dreams where the whole wild audience wild. be naked, though. Who be you naked? Like, we're doing jokes, and then I look out, and the whole crowd naked. I want to say it was about somebody I used to fuck with. You had a That's dream a reoccurring like, dream. It was so random. I guess it just come from being in front of so many people all the time. I guess that's just a like a psychological thing. Like, 
to not be like nervous or some shit. I just think everybody in the crowd naked. Was Ron in so the it like not like at the show, what but like Ryan? in the dream. <laughs> no, it's not like I'm looking at you. Actual body parts, it's just that they don't have clothes Bro, on. Bro, Ryan can't get a break around this motherfucker. Brought that man in for no reason. <laughs> he was literally over there like this, and he was like... <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Order some lamb lollipop. It's something about performing in, in front of a lot of people that do some strange shit to your <laughs> dreams, though. You don't be nervous. No, because I told y'all, in my mind, I've already seen these people, like, naked. Everybody? But it's not like body parts naked. It's like... They look like you can't see detail, like, yeah. Yeah, it's like you just TV know, show audience You naked. just know everybody naked, yeah. Like a Ken doll. Like shoulders. No! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it ain't like graphic I'll nudity. Chest up. Like, no, but it's like clearly whole body nudity, but not like descriptive enough yeah. where you like can you be like... Like, you know Michael Jackson's black and white video? And you were yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, please. How they was doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a dude in the video had hair just like you. Yeah, I know. And he had the mustache. That nigga look like. He did. He, he said, look like, oh, I ain't got that though. I don't got that. But I think I that nigga went on to sell like fruit juice a little bit oh, after that. He on Welch's? I know you're talking about. Nah, but he <laughs> had like a cranberry juice commercial or something after that. A working thing. Oh, she's spray. Yeah. That's who got to really fuck with the black community because we've been buying that high ass juice. Come on, we still got, then, we got some. We've been supporting them motherfuckers be. one juice at a time. Might be. Mm. Come on, man. Ocean Spray, get at somebody, man. I like Simply. We'll Me fuck too. with them too. They new to the game, so I figured they weren't really ready to come to the black community because they don't know we was holding them down when them bitches they was a dollar. Yeah, we fuck with Simply. Are we ready to talk about this? What? what? Inflation? I think black people. Majority of the juice market. Because mm. <laughs> we got the juice. And we dripping. Come on. Facts. Come on. I'm mad after all these what? years, OJ Simpson still ain't got no orange juice. Am I see? The crazy he, part is, he should take a stab at the orange juice market. <laughs> Hilarious. He got my Twitter deleted. Stupid. Ooh. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure he would kill. My old Twitter? My old Twitter, yeah. What did you say? Because I said his head was long. <laughs> and my shit was gone. I you, said some wild. The crazy shit. shit is, they fuck with OJ still. His yeah. head long? That motherfucker about. <laughs> he got a head. About three feet. White women still fuck with him in Florida. He be at like little bars and shit. Well, I can't what? imagine. This. Yeah, they be kicking it with. I want. I want. You know how I many white women have been disappointed that they went home with O.J. Simpson and woke up the next morning and be like, God, I'm still alive. <gasps> I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. Must, Stupid. must not be the O.J. I thought he was. <gasps> Maybe he didn't do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you know the bartender probably be in there like, juice. <laughs> He's a teddy bear. <laughs> He's a He's teddy bear. <laughs> he comes in, he orders his little burger, he watches the game, he talks to me. He's a teddy bear. And a One night he got tip. drunk, he the told me he did do it. Like, what? Crazy. The same thing even if OJ night. gets every a chick, night. even if he didn't even do it though, every time, every, like every lady he gonna be with, as soon as he raises his voice a little bit, gonna be terrified. What are you gonna do, stab <laughs> me? <Hey. laughs> Stop yelling at me. But that's how you know I motherfuckers ain't really scared of the shit they act like they scared of. What I you mean? They act like they scared of like black people they never black seen black. before, but mm -hmm. OJ still, you know what I mean? What you gonna do? Take they still taking pictures. Taking pictures of what? If you was white, you think you'd be scared of black people? If white, you think you'd be scared of black people? If you was white, do you think you'd be scared of black people? Because no. we don't know no, what I mean, we I mean, look like if, to white people. If I had we my... might look big as hell to white people. Big? Yeah, no, I like, look big there. When they see us, they're like, oh my God, they are so big. No. Like, as a white person looking at a black person, you ain't going to see they them only as like, that they regular scared. size. You might be like, this motherfucker's huge. They only think that. I don't that. think so. I'm telling you, man. No, nah, they only think that if you are big. That's what I was going to say. I think if you live, No matter how big you big. are, they, you just look bigger to them. Nah. No, that's cap. That's they what they want to say. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> he was just we so just, big. We just look so much bigger. We, we found out you. our vision is further back. Our retinas, it makes you guys look bigger than you really are. That's like the, the I'm view. telling you, we probably look big no, as fuck to white no, people. that's the greatest white defense I've ever. <laughs> they they keep saying court. it. 
Why did you shoot him? Because he looked huge. Because I have you white rat I was attacked. I don't by know. Because you ever seen a black baby? <laughs> you ever seen a black baby that was so I big like that, that you had to ask, how old is he? That baby huge. But he is big. He don't look big. He is. That's why you gotta have this nigga <laughs> around, bro. Cause he makes shit make sense that already made sense. Mm. But now it's making sense that it already made sense. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Yes, you do. Okay. That's why y'all work agree. good together. Why we, why we look good together? Cause y'all agree about the shit that's agreeable. Mm. Agreeability. But when y'all disagree, it's still agreeable shit to disagree about. Child. So y'all don't argue, Point cause you ain't gotta argue. We don't ever really argue just because... Opposite of agreement ain't, ain't no an point. argument. We argue a little bit. Not really. Not as much. I saw one clip where Drea just gave up on me. <laughs> she just but gave up on But it's about as deep as it goes. I'm talking see, about I was real just shit. like, all right. Mid-episode, she just started drinking her wine and Ooh. was like, that's Well, next. Drea really knows me because, like, one time we had a moment, actually, when we were in L.A., and everybody was pissing me off. And I just, I, I started yelling. Drea was like, y'all just leave it alone. She'll be all right in 10 minutes. Literally 10 minutes later, I was like, what a drink said. Are you okay? No. What's wrong? <laughs> what you did okay. when you was yelling? I want I want to hear. I, I want to hear the next be crazy. Like, Motherfucker, me. unplug your phone, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Everybody phone, airplane mode. You what was you doing? You she went was crazy. about to go on a rampage. I really was. And then when I got out, I was like mad, then I got out the car, I said, you want some water? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You just gotta let, you just gotta give her a moment. I just really need a moment. Let me have a moment, bro. I don't like getting mad, because when I get mad, I become a whole different person. <sighs> so I just like to, like, not even let myself get to that point. Who is And normally I don't. I just be like, what is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh uh, don't be reaching in your bag. I was, yeah. What's in your backpack? It ain't safe outside. Can you say backpack? Backpack, backpack, <laughs> backpack. backpack. <laughs> I hate it here. You love it here. Yeah, don't. This don't is one cry. of the greatest places on earth. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. I've been really calm this show, Carlos. I like me and Hug because I feel like I be catching like a contact call. Yeah. I smoke the half. It's just that the weed. I don't know you do. It's such a good compliment right. to what's in your cup that I it just like makes sense. Good. It's all about atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Shout out to this. To the person who sent us this dope oh, as artwork. Oh, you got new artwork? Hell yeah, yeah, I can't wait till we get to our this studio where we just gonna Ooh, have all the dope ass artwork. That's what it's called? Magging the bitches, smacking the hoes. Went to the pad to get the scoop. Yeah. Knuckleheads outside, cold shoes, mm -hmm. some hoops. A car pulls up, who, who can, can it be? be? A fresh El Camino rolling kilo G. Mm. Man, rest in peace to Easy E. You see how I did that? Stop playing. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Don't touch me. <laughs> Fuck off <laughs> me, man. Why nobody ain't told me? Why nobody ain't told me? Stop. Because <laughs> it was tragic. It was. I didn't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you see the movie? Oh, you saw that? Oh, you know that like it. I'm so I Hold on, let me look, make sure oh. my chain hang down to my dick. <laughs> so I know you I'm my chain in my chain and wine. I, I know, know I'm, I'm the shit. My, my chain hang down to my, my dick. I know. I know I'm the bomb. Hey, shout out Lil Will. He killed that little hook. He I think everybody, I think, I think, I think Gucci and Jesus deserve he all that come credit. Come on, here, man. Come on, man. Looking we need for to Nick. talk to oh, all the right. legends. You feel me? All of them. We're a platform for them. This all one necklace, though. It no, just looked not. like three. Not it's all connected it's in the back. On one it's class. A one piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the it's real long. <laughs> <laughs> he had to loop it. My chain real heavy. So nah, I, I got this job at Eddie. the jewelry store in the mall in Tampa. Who was Eddie? He used to be at Eddie's Gold Grill. He had a gold so grill. So why he said it's not from Eddie? Was because his shit fake? Because it was popular to go to Eddie's. Oh. So yeah, he, he was trying to say his shit was a little bit more. Oh, yeah. okay. Because I was about to say, that was fucked up. Why are you fucking that man business? So I got a gold grill, but it came from Scotty. Oh, 
Ooh, yeah. Scotty's wasn't real. Shout out no, to Scotty. Scotty, 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 the whole thing? I, I said, I don't know who's yeah. fired, Clay. Yeah. He said, yeah. I'm fresh to death. No yeah. funeral. Yeah. Okay, Lee. He did. Hold up. Drop your yeah. Patreon link so people can go watch the exclusive shit. Oh, uh, if y'all go on Patreon, it's patreon.com backslash poor minds. Uh, we have an actually. What if they hit forward slash? Uh, you're not, it's gonna still go there because oh. we cold like that. But we actually have an episode with Slink Johnson dropping on Patreon. Black Let's yeah. go. Shout out Slink. That nigga says shit. Oh, it was such a hey. good episode. He's so funny. He's so funny. He's so funny. He's so Slink. funny. Slink. Slink. So you gonna tell me about that's another nigga that's funny? I no, always. Was I already knew that nigga was funny. Okay. okay. I always tell people you the funniest nigga in the world. Why you be telling you me? Yeah. You putting a lot of pressure on me. That's probably why so many people five. don't like us. Mm-hmm. Top five. Top five. Yeah. You and Carlos, y'all top five funny. Literally. For real. You know I don't even want to know the other because five. Because I just had an epiphany. One day we were riding around. around. Ooh. And we planned yeah. that shit. Well, we looked at each other and said, one day we're going to be the coldest niggas. I we guess it's that one. day. We know it two. Is. We need one more. Everybody in Philly had them 85 and 70. Now it's hilarious. What's that? <laughs> Don't do my boy like that. What is that? Now see how you do? Don't do that. I, I don't know who that now is. Now went after that man that got booed and he did Shout good. Shout out now. Oh, you talking about that. dude that was third? Nav is funny. Yeah, you like, about, you know, like he went after a man that Nav got booed. Nav opening up for us for the live show. But who is that? Okay. I'm telling you. You know. You ain't, he got CDs. When you see this, get on his ass. Little bro now. What's, which one? <laughs> which one are you talking about, bro? The 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 little the little the little the little big one. Not the one. Oh. The big little one. Oh no. Oh. The tall no, short one. I see. Mm-mm. You know what I'm talking about? Sam J. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no. <Can't run>. oh. <laughs> Now, no. like who, is, who is it? No. Netflix is a joke. No. 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 <laughs> that ain't it. No. You know. All right, man. Why you do no, that? I like that. Jokes. They right. are. It's now. All right, now you talking about dude. No, I don't know. I know who you talking about. I think. Is it like normal for comedians to get booed on stage? Yeah. Have it you is? ever been booed? Nope. So, I'm not normal though. Do you think- know that? Do you think he ever got booed? No. I done had some very awkward sets, though. For real? Yeah. Mm. Like, like what, what happened? Mean? What was awkward about it? I've had some very, like, weird moments on stage where you could be talking to the people, and then it's just like, like something happened without you knowing it happened, and then it's like, you'll keep doing the shit without knowing what the fuck happened, and then they'll be like, it's like they'll tell you what happened without happening. Like, mm. nigga. You ain't see what happened. It's like, what the fuck? Y'all old look demeanor done changed. One time I had a show, it was all older people, like a church or something. And it was like, do your thing. Just do your thing. How you do your thing. And then I was The church people came to see you? Yeah, it was in this like little private room. (laughs) You know, like the hotel had like a room for like a wedding reception and shit. It was like, I come on stage. It was all old people. I'm talking about like 60 and up. And then the people who threw the show, they was like, no, they want to see you. Thing, how you do your thing? So I'm doing like, doing my shit. You know they old. This shit, both as fuck. I'm, th- but they like, they not even responding. Right? So I'm thinking, so I'm thinking, oh, they not. This is about to be one of them shows. So it's like, these people so old, they just waited all the way to the end and just gave like one applause. Like this. But like a grand applause, Ooh, like, like a standing ovation, five minute clap. I was like this. Oh. This is the weirdest shit I had ever seen. What that boy is good. That boy is good. Yeah, because I was about to, <laughs> like, as I'm trying to leave, that's the only time they responded. Like, no, keep going. Aww. Aww. They ain't said shit the whole time. <laughs> All the way at the end. I'm talking about a five, ten minute standing clap. Aww. Boy, you good. That boy, you that good. Boy. Why y'all ain't say shit then? Oh, we ain't want to mess it up. 
<laughs> oh my God. We ain't want to mess you what up. What you mean? I so they know. just weren't responding or nothing? Nothing. No, I were they small people. All people are so funny. They just sat there They're like so they was they, laughing. But bro, I, they were just sitting there like they was watching Tyler Perry. They were just. <laughs> <laughs> If something was funny, they was probably like, that was a good one. Was I don't know if they got together, all was together, a, and was, was like, we're going to save it to the end now. We're going to do this shit like graduation. We're going to let him do his whole show. And then we're going to clap at the end. Hell no. Nah. I don't even... Man, boy. I done had plenty, plenty of shows that was empty as fuck. Like, them waiting to... No, them waiting to the end. That's the worst shit. Nah, I don't remember. think so. When the nah, show I empty got, and you when still got to do the keys That's the shit fucking worst. at Uptown. They shook the keys at you? Before I even got a joke out. As soon as they cut the music off. It's because you was light skinned. Not you walked on the stage yeah. and said, this nigga a joke. Yeah. He light yeah. skinned. Get that mulatto yeah. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> keys. <laughs> Because they told him, they it's told him, they lotto. told him, you don't shake, you don't shake your key. If you don't have keys, just yell out keys. Oh my God. But see, this the thing about it though, man. It wasn't but, nothing. But that then shit just was to like, see that happen, then it'd be like, to turn into the nigga that the whole crowd turn around and be like, you going up? Please go up. You going up? Okay. Say the whole goddamn show. Sometimes they'll start keying motherfuckers just because they seen us back there. Mm. Just oh, to try to make it. Me, that no. is me. You don't understand, man. I don't. You don't understand. That's we have seen of, motherfuckers. But that ain't no like real. I ain't been booed like. I have seen motherfuckers like, yeah, like rip and booed. bomb with the same set, with the same intensity. Yeah. That should be amazing. Yeah. Also, like it's one set and they get booed and then other no, set they like. These they motherfuckers. I'm talking. They rip about, with that same they set. They rip oh. with this motherfucker. It's working. Then it didn't work tonight. Man, this for whatever crazy. reason. Comedians used to be so scared of like, I like know when the motherfucker get like when they bomb, they have motherfuckers so shook, they'll leave right then and have to go get on stage somewhere else just so they don't have to go home with that L, bro. Oh my God. Man, shit ain't working out. I'm finna go down south side. I gotta go up tonight. I'm like, hey man. Yeah. I seen a nigga get booed twice the same night. All oh, right. That's yeah, the oh. nigga went on stage. Is he popular now? Got booed and like the nigga ain't bring me up right. So the nigga went back on stage, gave him a great intro. The nigga bombed again. Mm. I, seen somebody, I seen somebody. I seen somebody bomb the Did whole weekend. It? I seen a motherfucker bomb and quit doing comedy <laughs> the same night. <laughs> If I ever like try no. to comedy and I got booed one time, I'm never coming back. So you ain't doing it? Hey, well. No, I'm never coming back. That's the thing about comedy. But you, you say you never got booed, so you can't exactly. get that bite. No, but when, when even at its worst, comedy is you want to go back and do that shit again another time. Like that this shit the thing don't about it. like a fuck, we, we done did shows with no motherfuckers there. Mm -hmm. We had it. That's worse than the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But you know you funny, dog. We so had it advantage because we went to the club. For, we just watched comedy for about six weeks straight. Mm -hmm. We just seen all the motherfuckers just be good and bad. And then once we started doing this shit, we was really doing it. So it wasn't like, we wasn't bullshitting. Like we see a lot of comedians that was bullshitting. Like we used to always have some shit ready. Mm -hmm. When did you know you was funnier than the average person? Shit. I thought that shit forever. It was, all, was like little. That's what make them up. But that's what make I comedians I always do make comedy. People laugh. I just ain't everybody no comedy with no that. thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Everybody who do comedy think they the best comedian. Mm -hmm. I, but I honestly feel like everybody thinks they're funny though, especially nowadays. No, everybody it, thinks they're this funny. This the trick about comedy. If you don't think you're the best, you'll never be good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's true. You got to like every comedian that do comedy think they the best mm -hmm. comedian. Because you can't even like label that shit. How right. you gonna compare? How you gonna think somebody better than you? Right. right. And then you feel confident going on stage. Like if you already think the other, I get it. Because if you already think the other person is funnier than you, then how you gonna perform? But you, you gotta think But you about always gotta be trained. We was always trained. In your mind, I'm ready to go up with any and everybody. You don't know who might come in before you. Yeah. A real comedy club, you don't know, might be the biggest name motherfucker in the world. You know what I'm saying? Leave the stage smoking. The show still got to go on. Or you come on after a motherfucker. Man, hey. Hell you just yeah. ready to go. And yeah. you can't be intimidated because you really can just ride that wave. That's the thing about comedy. Once That's the, the show one thing I rocking, used to love about hosting when motherfucker pop setting up. Setting the tone, man. I miss hosting shows. Yeah, I like getting that wave like going, man. Having a room. Mm. I miss that shit. 
You don't miss that shit. I do, because that shit used to be fun. I asked you that a few weeks ago. You was like, man, hell no. I, don't, I ain't miss it that week. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Now you nostalgic. Yeah, they ain't miss it that week. It's week to week. Yeah, it's, it's touch and go. It's touch and go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that shit fun. Those were the days. Good old days. Weekly. Look at you now. I know. paper. Who said that? I seen your cheek. Chris no, you Martin. didn't. Yes, For I sure. did. No, you did. Yes, I did. I said, <laughs> Greg, we have to go on stage, bitch. Turn the wig around. Who showed Turn you Turn the wig around. Turn the wig. I don't even get no cheek. I seen that. I seen it. I said, oh, baby, I'm not, not niggas. When we seen I'm Carlos shit. I'm going to start shit. cracking jokes in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to make everybody laugh. Carlos, Carlos did show us his chick for one night. It I said, like, call me Carlisha, baby, because it's on. What are you talking about? Not you, not you, his son. I'm your son. What are you talking about? Birdman hand rub. I want that. It must have just been a good night. Hey. I seen it too. She ain't lying. I said, hey, something. It was when we was in Tallahassee. I mean, not, not Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Not Nappy Boy. <laughs> she wasn't <laughs> lying. <laughs> Nah, we wasn't in Tallahassee. Uh, we was in Jacksonville. We was in Jacksonville. I said, damn, this somebody uh, paycheck for a year. Don't fucking say that. Okay. Jacksonville niggas are savages. Hey. Well, don't go back. Uh, I gotta go back. It's <laughs> stupid. Speaking of which, Jacksonville coming up. What's up, Jacksonville? You did your yeah. thing. Yeah. You did your thing. Had now, to. You yeah. That boy is good. I was proud. Thank I said, you. look at my daddy. Stunting like my daddy. You know, one time we was in a meeting, and I was You're like, me and, me and Rod was going back and forth. I said, I'm not Carlos. I can't do two shows. He said, you're fucking right. You're not Carlos. not Carlos. You're not Carlos. I said, hold on. You said it a little too strong, my boy. And I said, oh, it's Brian. You real spicy <laughs> today. I don't like you, you. you called him spicy? Because <laughs> why would he say that to her? Why would he say, you, you're fucking right. You're not Carlos. You know, he, <laughs> you know, he be running this shit. Right. <laughs> You must have called my boy out there for right. workout. You're goddamn, you don't work as hard as Carlos Miller. I work you hard. Be. I work hard as fuck. He's hollering at you. You do He's work hard. He was. He was hollering at you. I don't And work. I just was sitting there like, <gasps> I said, I said, I can't I believe it. I squeezed her knee. I said, we got to Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's Get why I'm about to take together. my talents oh, to South Beach. Oh, right? He said, you're fucking right you don't work as hard as Carlos Miller. <laughs> and you'll never work in this town again. Oh. Buddy. You'll be pushing seal meat in Alaska <laughs> by fucking Tuesday. I said, oh, it's strict in this bitch. <laughs> and I said, we're about to end this meat right now. That's how it happens, though, man. I work fucking hard. Oh. He said, Carlos, <laughs> you yeah. have the audacity to compare yourself. I said, I'm not Carlos. I know. I know. You're not. Y'all must have caught my boy <laughs> off that pre-workout. You know, he be jogging and working out and shit. <laughs> not he was still jittery. It was a wild night. He, he thought he was them, saying it in his head. He was on the Red Bulls and shit. <laughs> Did you say that shit out loud? Did I say that out Me loud? Me and Chad was just sitting here looking at each other like. <laughs> Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Damn. Don't compare yourself to me. I she know did it. It was rocky. I did it. I'm just saying, don't let me be the standard, because I have it hard. She did it. Ryan said, you're not. <laughs> no, don't ever think. People don't that know my story. Are. Yeah, did his finger like that? I had to come up, he man. Because no. <laughs> listen, when I was born, I was a baby. Not you was born by the river. I was born first, <laughs> then I was a baby. What? Taught myself how to talk. And shake up, never mind. Taught myself how to walk. Did nobody ever help me? You're a liar. Why, was born, why was you born by a river? <laughs> I wasn't born by a river. Oh. Somebody helped you. But I'm saying when I was Rick, born, Rick, Rick, somebody Rick, helped Rick. you. I was a baby. <laughs> somebody helped you. I grew myself up. Somebody helped you. Oh, why are you You grew on your own, but somebody helped you, my nigga. <laughs> it was up to me. Somebody what helped you. What was your first word? You would have spent really? your whole first three years shitty. <laughs> you just been a little Man, shitty. You just learned a shitty, a little shitty I used to roll out the diaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kick it off. <laughs> it go wait till yeah. roll up in another. Oh one. man! Hey. Took me a while to figure out the hey, size, man. but I figured out something. Hey, I spent the first year shitty as fuck. 
Did nobody help me? Stop it! But by the time I was two, I was kicking diapers off left and right. Listen, when I was one, my, my mom stood me up and said, "Look, we ain't got all day." And I fell two times, but on the third time, like a baby deer, I walked. You started baby walking. Deer. Oh. Baby deer walked quick. Yep. How old was that? I was not when I started early. walking, yeah. they got I started walking early they about just get up seven, eight yeah, months. Yeah, they ain't got no time to stay. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Hey. Fresh off the womb, so like they roll off the womb and then walk. Yeah, nah, get your ass up. Baby deer. Oh, oh, most animals walk. When, I mean, oh, you knew that too. No, I'm just saying, humans are the worst babies ever. Right. Most babies, like animals, like they're born and they can do things. You got to. Humans you got to are the because they gonna eat no, your real ass. Shit. You gotta I'm go. Serious. I'm hey. walking Come about on, seven, you're eight a months. Liar. <laughs> Whatever the predator is, that's out there. Mom said he was walking yeah. in seven months. <laughs> Seven, eight months. I was nah, walking. some people do start walking there like, I was not this little fucker. I bullshit you not. You knew him then? You was the baby to him. See, he got a baby. That's the seven My baby months. walked now. How old he walking. Baby? He just turned a year. But now, like, he full on taking off. Oh, oh, a year. Turn a year is a way different from seven yeah. months. Yeah. yeah. I was born yeah. in the 80s. Shout I'm out, born is. in the 80s. Crack baby. You not a crack baby. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all both. I was born in 89. I was born in 83. We were right around the corner. But that's what I'm saying. We didn't have the luxury of waiting to walk early. Like, we had to Where get that you shit. Where did have to go? We had shit. It was Mississippi. You had to go to work. That shit to do. You was going to the, to the, the oil and gas. You had a job, nigga. Telling you, man. You was waking up cooking cornbread. I was out there early. That's weak. I am he was on the plane. He was this on the plane. This is the thing about it. I'm gonna fuck y'all up when I bring my family on this bitch. Y'all gonna really. We I live. Up. Up. We come today? When they vouch for all those shit that y'all think I just be making up, it's gonna fuck y'all up. I feel like somebody in your family when I make tell some you, good pound cake. Everybody in the man, everybody in my whole family make shit like that. For real? Hell yeah. Green. We going to your next family reunion. Man, come on. We coming. Don't I bet you ain't never. I take you to my family reunion. You ain't never seen oh. so much catfish in your life. You said you gonna be like, did y'all you leave were... any fish in this motherfucker? It's your ass out here. And then they gonna do this shit for about four days straight. Mm -hmm. They gonna fish Heard your they ass out here. You get your ass out here. Wait, what is a hog maw? No, he ain't no hog maw. What's a what is he? What is a hog? What is a maw? The mouth. What, what's is the maw of the hog? The mouth. Yeah, the oh, jaw. Mouth. Yeah. Hog mouth. No, it's hog mouth. Why is there a deer? So what is the mouth? I think, I think it's like <laughs> up here, the jaw. It's some jaw fat. Yeah. Why do I want to eat somebody jaw fat? Some face meat. Hey man, That's what he said. when you go to the deep south, that sound like it's not people tender. still cook like they just got free. So I'm they'll sure just they throw a piece of meat in a pot with some shit all day. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't cook it all. It they don't really have a the name. And it probably still ain't falling off the bone. Cheek meat sauce, <laughs> like it's rough. Oh, cheek meat the sauce. <laughs> I feel like it might be. Think about good. the cheeks that you felt. Cheek meat don't. Oh, I yeah, know it is. It is. What? What is it called? Yeah, um, the one, you know, is that the one? That's not the one that they cut. Eat, eat everything. Langua. Yeah. That's tongue. Langua? Oh, yeah. I ain't never chitlins? ate no chitlins. No. You don't eat chitlins? No. Do you eat chitlins? I've had them. I and do I don't not want no hot. Nigga. <laughs> now, why y'all started twerking? It's ghetto in here. It's getting too loud. That's a beat you made? nigga, at first I was like, oh, this nigga shit. went crazy. <laughs> like, no, like, 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 he made it. <laughs> Ain't nobody still that talking came what on. a fucking mall is. What? I'm not eating no hog mall. Let's just imagine it as a random piece of pork fat. And I would just eat a random piece of pork fat? No, it's just like they throw that shit in like greens and just throw it in the pot. For a little flavor. You ate a hog mall? Probably. I don't know. She would. And would, and I'll do it again. It by was probably itself. in her you I ate love, the I eat chitlins. Let's do a food show. With, with Lex. Eat beans with Lex. And call it Lex Eats Anything. I don't know how to make a mean bean patty. And first, that's what we're going to start. Y'all want some bean cookies? First three weeks. First three weeks. It's bean all beans. Teeny. All beans first three weeks. Bean Bitch, I don't want no bean team. Y'all straight. Y'all are not open-minded. That sound like that shit going to be gassy. It is. 
You know what? I hate that that's what people think because honestly, Beans if, you, make no, if you have a good amount of fiber in your diet, it's not going to affect anything, okay? So if you eat beans and all of a sudden you gassy, that means your diet not right. Hold on, wait a minute. This is going left. This I'm is, just saying. This is going so far left. Jeez. I'm tired of the discrimination. It's not discrimination. Bean Nation. Shout out to y'all. We're going to stand up for our rights. What are you talking about? Who is about? with you? Bean. The <laughs> Bean. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody raised like <laughs> Who is with you? <laughs> you are tripping. <laughs> That's because you saw I smoked half a week. Everybody was you like, like holding it right here. here. My you baby. was telling what? your story, say what you said. No, I didn't. Say what you said. That's what you did. Bean Nation. Even Ryan wasn't with you, and he eat everything. Right. I like beans. Why are y'all so mad at that? Relax, relax. We, we good. We, so you really, make them. I said 20 minutes ago, are you happy I've been calm this episode? We, I was just saying, mad. we've accepted you. Thank you. you he are, called me weird. You are a little bit. <laughs> Be a real pooter, because who eats beans? Being weird no. is a good and great thing. I'm a real eater. You good pooting. and great. <laughs> Great people have been weird. Yeah, you have to be weird to be great. Without weirdness, there is no creativity. You gotta be Thank willing you. to do what the other people don't do. Amen, yeah. my brother. You, you gotta pizza. keep your imagination in this world. Lex P is for Putin Come on. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about doing a self-help book for the hood. <laughs> a self-help book for yeah, the hood? Yeah, to help like niggas that. tap into their full potential. I a like help that. self book. Right. Yeah. Um, a help self, so, okay. I like that, backwards. Yeah. Then we can do a self wealth book. I like that. And then we do a wealth that. self. Then we can reflect on self about the wealth and then flip that into wellness. Mm. Yeah. A like holistic that. approach. Mm. Right. Yeah. How's like holistic approaches? Oh, holistic. That's a brand. I feel like that's when you holistic. holistic. That's when you ain't got holistic. no holes and you start going to church. Holistic. We went to church in Asheville. And it was good. I what do you mean good? It was up. just a good word. Chad took us to church. Okay. He it was, it was Chad's church. so weird, man. I was like this. Y'all be doing the weirdest shit. <laughs> Praising the Lord is not weird. We're weird. He took us to church. And I screamed, hey, amen. And he literally, we were so fucking late, number one. We got there like that's 20 minutes before it ended. That's what I'm saying. Y'all just, <laughs> for all no, they let know. let me tell you how fucked up it was. Yo, let wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. You gonna tell a church know. story about Girl, how fucked up it was? Carl, 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 Carl,
songs that I want to sing along I, to. The hot note. Man, I feel. You been hitting it all day today. She working. A singer. She has me. Both in the club singing off key. Excuse me. That's what he said in the song. Mm -hmm. And I it wish like I never met her at all. It, it, it gets better. Ordered me. another round. It's, it's about to go, go down. That's the bottom one. I'm oh. Six Amen. Six this, this ad is sponsored by BetterHelp. And 85% of us get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash 85 South. That's betterhelp.com slash 85 South. Hey, it's Clayton English. With everything that's going on in the world, life can be overwhelming. And many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, irritability, fatigue, and more. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out. BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash 85 south. That's betterhelp.com slash 85 south. This year. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. And before this is like return of the man. We wrap this up. Oh, girl. I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to just, you know, express themselves. And, Share the necessary information mm. that you feel that you may want to hear. We got Drea, mm -hmm. XP, Clayton Amen. English. We were just speaking about church, so I feel like we should have a little devotion. Amen. And we should just devote a little time to the listeners who've been listening, but ain't heard what they listen to. Mm -hmm. I'm in the pulpit. But sometimes people get lost. Ooh. But they ain't lost because they exactly where they were when they got lost. Ooh. See, lost ain't a location. Mm. Uh, lost ain't a place. Mm -hmm. Lost starts in your mind. Mm -hmm. If you not lost in your mind, then you could be wherever you wanted to be. Mm -hmm. But since you got lost, you don't know where you started from because you never knew where you wanted to go in the first place. Mm -hmm. You need a road. Now, how you gonna know when you get to where you wanna go if you ain't even know that's where you wanted to go? Oh, speak it. If you never know where you wanted to go, uh, you gonna be happy in it? Uh, come on now, see, any kind of way. You will never kind be of happy. You gonna always be unhappy with where you wound up. Where you, you wound up? You will never be where you wanna be. Amen, brother. You wound up because you didn't go where you were supposed to go. Now, if you, you, go, you went going. where you wanted to go the first time, you wouldn't have to make all them stops to them places you didn't want to be. And you was worried about how to get there when all you needed to do was get gone. Not you was wild up because you was too wild up. Now, sometimes you get too wild up. Mm -hmm. And you got to take a step back and go back to where you were so you can go where you need to be. Amen. Be still. What you <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It don't matter. Anytime you see anybody making some forward progress, nine times out of ten, they're going to go back a little bit before they go forward a lot of bit. That's why they call it a head start. But your head start usually start back start here. Start using your head. Watch the pole And you fall. would have a head start. Exactly. The pole fall to go back, then go forward. Mm. It pull you back. Exactly. That's how gravity works. The nigga who be doing the long jump, he lean back first. Like a big head, come on. come on. When the sprinters take off, they got to get down just to get, they up. get to that finish line. Come on. Mm, I like it. That's a word. They say, Oh, your mom. Okay. You see. Get set. Mm. Get set. Ready. Ready. Go. Get it ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. Now, ready. see, that might be a whole nother problem. A lot of people ain't getting set. That's not a church. Oh. Set me and being saddled. Come on now. You he already ain't where you want to be. Mm. But that's that a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. But like I was saying earlier, take your time, Lex. Talk to the people. There you go. The Lord is good.
it to me. Don't start. <laughs> you told me. <laughs> you did tell us. I was about to give it. I was about to give it. You're not known for that. Why would you do You're not known for that. You're not known for that. <laughs> You're not known for that. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> That's actually her plane. What? It's her boy. Come on. I'm Randy Jackson. Crazy. This is enough for That's me, dog. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. You thought I was about to say what in Hollywood? No. He was too ready. Sam didn't make it save you. I don't know. Mm -mm. Oh, wait. You know what? That's what I'm saying. The solo is. <laughs> I cannot believe. You want to reset? No. Yes, let's try No, again. no. Mm -hmm. The moment is gone. No. Wait, but you got to sing a song. The moment is gone. No. No, because I tried. Look at you. Let that's me get why my I, Jesus juice. That's why I want you to sing in my church because you're a heathen. Oh, 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 oh. Because you're a heathen. <laughs> I don't allow that type of shit in my church. Are you Yolanda Adams? You can take that shit back down the street, but not in my church. I don't play that shit. Let her cook. It's, you know, you should, I think you need to have no. another try, a no. retry. It's Dre's oh. turn anyway. Oh, I can't sing. It's not your turn to sing. Just take some time and do devotion. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. Devotional. This is the day that the Lord has made. Mm. On testimony. Yes. Let us rejoice. Ooh. And be glad in it. Yes. Amen, brothers and sisters. Ha, 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 ha. A, a room is still a room. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. A chair is still a chair. Mm -hmm. Even when there's no one sitting there. Mm. And a house <laughs> is not a home. Mm. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. What you got to say, Lee? I'm just here giving you your ass. You ain't got to come on. Preach, preach up. <laughs> That's it. You ain't got nothing to say to the people. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't blame mm. <laughs> Mr. Charlie. We gave you one. <laughs> Mr. Charlie was just a man. Mm. <laughs> and he's doing the best that he can. Mm. Speaking of Mr. Charlie. Mm. Like you have a story about Mr. Charlie. Share your testimony, my brother. Mr. Charlie. This is, this is the time and the place. Mr. No Charlie business. ain't got nothing to do with this right now. Oh, okay. Now. <laughs> Good brother Clayton English. Mm. Mm. Closing arguments. I want everybody to remember on their way home. Mm. But whatever speed you're gonna go. Mm-hmm. Get where you're going, but one thing, get your ass out that left lane. Yeah. Get your ass out that That's goddamn that left lane. lane. Right. Sometimes you need people to go faster than you. You do. You need somebody out there speed to see what's up ahead. Right. You might need them to hit a rough patch before you do. Right. Flash their hazards. We all not going the same place. If you're in a rush to get there, get where you're going by getting there. Right. But get your ass out that left lane. Yeah, mom, get out my way. Real for real. Get out that left lane. That left lane for passing. Some people you gotta pass. Act like you know. Corvette, Corvette. Some no. feelings gotta <laughs> pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's strict. She had a point. The left lane is for the Corvettes. You right. Whoa. You right. Move you never move. know how the spirit is gonna move through some people. It be moving. Mm. How do it move through you? It don't move through me. It moves around me. Mm. It leads me. Yes. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I get it. Cause I'm so in touch with the earth and the, and, and the nature and the science of it all. Mm. You feel me? Cause I have been blessed to be a part of something mm -hmm. that was bigger than me. I didn't choose this life, this life chose me. Agreed. Amen, <clears throat> brother. See, that's the thing about God, he all speaks. He speaks to all of us different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you look, if you look, 
You took. You a fan. Not you too. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> what kind of a church? It's a different church. It's a different church. It's a different, church. It's a different, different church. church. I was at. That, that's a whole different church. We'll get into of. that later on. But if you look, <laughs> is that if you look, you took? You are yeah. most definitely took. Yeah. Hopefully by the word. Yeah. Took by the you word. are. You are. Yeah. You are. Tooken yeah. back. Tooken uh-huh. back. We ain't, we ain't even got time to get into tooken. Because a lot of us have been tooken, but we've never been taken. But we've been tooken. We've been tooken, we've been but took not taken. Yeah. I think I've been both. Some of us have been tooked it. Tooked it. Oh, yeah, I know. Hold on. So, oh, no. no, no. You said tuck. tooked it. Yeah, okay. come on. Especially. Yeah. Especially. Give me so space. Said, Give me space. Sorry. Give me man. space. Mm-hmm. Generationally. Generationally. And that's what we'll be discussing the next time. Generational wealth, mm. politics, yeah. upcoming election. A woke king. You gotta have Ryan on the couch for these. Okay, bet. Did he pay y'all to say his this name? Is this is a promo? Nah, we just love Ryan. Oh, uh, I don't fuck with him. <laughs> Motherfuckers weird. We're in church. I am. Stop cursing. Brother, they church. still stop cursing they my brother. Still- this is, playing to me. this is the pool pit. This is my church. The pool pit? Like the pool palace? <laughs> the pool palace. What if, what if that's... <laughs> then you need right your hips to do the, the pool, pool palace. Pit. Then you need... Yeah, all the, right. We, we the so, so if you, if, your, if you saw your pastor at the grocery store, right? <laughs> If somebody disrespected him and he was put in a situation where, yeah, he, where he needed right. to that's say right. what he needed to say, you mm. couldn't judge him. I know I couldn't. Yeah. I don't judge anybody. Well, you know. Yes, you like do. Like you judged me. Carlos said, are you, it's Ryan Payne. You do some judging. What he had to be paid. Because I know Ryan, yeah. he's not even a good person now. to even keep mentioning Judge like Judy. <laughs> first of all. Carlos said Ryan, not even a good person First of all, he keep. know about all this food. Right. We in Miami. Mm. Take me to the worst fucking place I ever been. <laughs> well, he gonna do that anyway. So that's how he is. Where'd you he do gonna Miami always take you to the worst places. It wasn't no per- it wasn't Bruh. personal. <laughs> I, I got this fucking steak right. From where? Where did y'all go? Where's I don't even know. Place? I won't even say the name. I got this fucking steak. Let me tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like motherfucker who cooked it didn't like touching Hold meat. It, they was like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. The motherfuckers ain't seasoned shit. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, send this back. This fucking shit off my plate. Get rid of this dog. But he said it was good. He was enjoying. Good. He was. In, he had fucking uh, food all around his mouth and shit. <laughs> Mine I good. See, no, don't do my boy like that. I see. Now. Normally, a so, lot so, of so, so he took you there, but he didn't tell you what to get. They know for their tacos. This is the thing about it. This is why I don't trust his taste. You didn't say that? You didn't because mention that part? It don't matter where the hey fuck man, it is. Hey man, this place has great tacos. He gonna eat any fucking thing. He don't oh. give a shit if it's good or bad. I, I figured that out this weekend. He's just gonna eat whatever the fuck, and then it's just, he just gonna eat again. Mm, food. Yeah, he's a fucking fat dude on the inside. He has never had a bad meal. No way. Now, Ryan do fuck with everything, but <coughs> when we went to LA, the food truck that we went to the first oh, that day, shit was he busting. said it was good and it was busting. It was good. That shit was busting. Well, I guess it just is 50 50 when it comes to this shit. But every, what do you like to eat? <coughs> I don't like to discuss my personal preferences Boy, right. shut up. <laughs> about anything on this fucking show. Because but my, you don't have like a one favorite food? Yeah, I do. But what I don't, don't want to share. Well, all the shit they know about you. It no, it's not that they're going to be bringing it. It's just that I don't. They be sending don't. her cans of beans, so I it's don't. A, you don't tell them you don't want canned beans. No, beans. she want it. You want canned beans? No, I really be wanting, but I don't like, I don't eat other people's food. Like one girl was like, girl, I was about to bring you a pan of beans. I was like, for real? I'd be scared to eat people's Tell them you want food. dry beans. Just tell them you want dry beans. beans. I'm going to soak them. A bag of pinto <laughs> beans. I'm going to soak Mm-mm. I like homemade beans. People give you a you lot of shit. You probably eat pinto beans like sunflower seeds. Thanks. No, you better know you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel good about that, no. man. I don't like y'all judging me. Let's, next topic. Mm. 
The next topic is make sure you go subscribe to Poor Minds on everything. Go get it. They going crazy. I fuck with these ladies. All the real niggas who watch Long this way. show, go to both of their Instagram pages and like all the pictures of them with nothing on. I don't post photos like that anymore. I have been saved. Fuck the pictures with clothes on, fellas. This summer, we only like in swimwear pictures. The naked are the better. If we start a campaign, they'll be naked by next year. We don't like running. Really, butt naked next year. Yeah. Don't like shit with the clothes on. Yeah. Go back. I don't give a fuck if it was 2018. Go back and like all the pictures from Creep Behavior. We liking everything. And 2018. Go we back. don't like That's them how captions. going back. What caption? None of them. We want the shortest caption possible. Stop saying all that goofy shit. Yeah. His Give prettiest problem. <gasps> Bitch, you still the problem. Stop being the problem. I don't say stuff like that. They do That's all corny. that. Corny. That shit do what be corny. Be it's what y'all like? I be saying real shit. It's That's what you be saying? Long. It's giving Paul's beat. Like That's what you be saying? Yeah, because it's fair. I'm about to start posting some fucked up ca <laughs> captions on my shit. Too. It's short though, Fuck so it. I let it ride. Doing, and it's short. Yeah. We're doing it what's popular short. this yeah. summer. Yeah. We I'm only, had, we only yeah. outside yeah. having fun. Long we shit. damn near didn't make no, it. I just don't say stuff we like got that a second chance you know, this time. Like, Before the pandemic hit again, like let's turn up and have a good ass summer. <laughs> Everybody post some shit with some fucked up captions. Disregard everything we said. Keep posting your shit. Think of the goofiest caption you can come up with. Me and Lex don't be having great captions. I sure right? don't. Hit we me and I give you. I was just telling Clayton, we be posting shit like, life is great. Hard. Sometimes you got to post a caption that ain't got shit to do with the picture. Post the shit of you and be like, stop wearing them big goofy ass shoes. That's what you be, you do be I like my shit to be like general so people can get mad just because I know people need shit to get mad yeah. at. It don't got to be nothing specific. But then you always hashtag. Yeah, hey, I'm going to put something up, quit touching shit. shit. Just to remind them, hey, this is... Stop touching shit. Right, quit touching shit. That's what, important. What's that little... Hope it is still very real. Stop touching shit. That should have, yeah, the old sanitizer should have, you know, you should have kept it going. You think so? Yeah. I have the resources to make it happen. You should have kept it going, man. It never went nowhere. made a billion dollars in hand sanitizer. Could have been a correlation between but the sanitizer and stopping. But I still can, though. Stop it. I didn't know that the streets had such a demand. Mm. They don't like the ones the that's out. The streets is waiting. I know. I gotta still do my album, J O N. Fry my wings hard. It's time to turn up. Can I? That's a lit album name. I need you on the hook. What song oh, you gonna be on? I don't know, but I'm gonna sing my ass off. It's my time to turn. You the new no, Aretha she Franklin. She gonna have a song. Period. Have a song on your album called Me and My Bean, and it's her and Chico. Oh, that's gonna be fire. Oh, yeah. Me and my Bean. Me and my Bean. Yeah. Me and my Bean. Yeah. Executive producer of the album. Did yeah, we in there. Wait a minute. Did you just call me and Dre and EP? I said executive producer. We in the studio. Producer. Touching dials. That was good, right? I've been me trying to get this beam. project that beyond the ground. This shit went from a podcast <laughs> to a record label meeting. 85 South Records. 85 South Records, nigga. I love what I'm I've saying. I've been saying this. Yeah. I love that. Hey. As we go, we about to drop the most, being made. the most fire album. I'm telling you. All right, man. The girls like when I sing. I don't care what y'all say. They love when I hit a tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you. Yeah, we go, we go, we gonna have a tune on it. You know, when that lip quiver, you know you can sing. I think Probably. you should do an original Probably. composition. No, we gotta say that. We gotta save it. We gonna ready to drop your album? Man, what? They waiting. I sang to my record label. <laughs> We got an auto tune. 2500 up front. What you trying to say? I don't need no auto tune. This, this war. I'm talking about the whole yeah. song. He said 2500 up front. That's your advance. <laughs> That's all you got to finish the record. You get the I other half. I don't have on that drink. You get the other half. Bitch, you think I'm going to do a record for 2500 You on your own. For 2500 bitch, you was doing it off GP. The fuck? You I ain't doing half. it off GP. You get the other half when you finish. What? I'm a, I'm a join when you be a white 360 like, deal in America. Like and we go, and we gonna approach this record a little different. We gonna take it back old school. We gonna break this record at the skating rink. Oh. <laughs> we gonna take it back here. Right. Back in the time. Back in the time. Well, look before we discuss. <laughs> Man, forget y'all. The particulars of the you know the contract. No. We gotta say. I figured I started saying good night because I figured like most people watch this shit at good night. Evening. They watch it in the morning. They watch it all the time of day. Well, good morning. 
They want good evening. Friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. What your boy said on hey, Truman Show? Good morning, good afternoon, and good, good night. night from the 85 South Show and the sweet, sweet ladies of Poor Minds. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody bring me a hot cocoa or something, please. Are the donuts ready? We got donuts? No, I, it was just me being. I wasn't going to eat one, no way. I got to wash my figure. You do? I told you I lost 100 pounds. Oh. You hungry? Yeah. We got snacks here. She don't want no snacks. What you want? I forgot that I had took this shit off. Chad, what's up, man? I'm hungry now. Alabaster pimping. Lollipop. Slam chop. You living like a player? Not 